Hopefully, nope, it didn't do it. But what's going on, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the show. Happy, happy. It's so good to see you guys. Happy Tuesday. You know what? Big things, big things are happening at Roby Tech. Uh, first and foremost, I want to welcome you. Thanks to the team at Intel Newegg uh, for uh, sponsoring this video, this giveaway that we have done. This absolutely, I mean, guys, just look at this case. Uh, that uh, Ron from Blue Horse Studios has done, which, I mean, you guys just saw a little bit of announcement today. We're going to start having more of his builds on our channel. Uh, but the best thing about this, guys, is that if you don't win this PC, uh, if you watch the VOD and the, v the YouTube later on, we're going to actually have all of the stuff that you need to actually do this for you to download in the YouTube video itself. So if you're like, hey, I still want to do this, I still want to create this exact system, um, you absolutely can. And we're actually gonna, you're gonna see a little bit in the video um, uh, that's coming out on Thursday on how to go ahead and make one of these your, uh, yourself if you wanted to, right? Because the thing is, is that we're trying to not only show you guys how to build custom PCs, but also how to design and customize them and make that approachable as well. And so we're gonna have more of that stuff from Ron here on the channel as we start to grow our viewership and all that sort of stuff um, and, and just make it better for you. The other thing too, uh, for those of you guys who may not have noticed, is that uh, we had a pretty big announcement from Twitch. Uh, for those who don't know, Twitch has officially allowed uh, us to restream as, hey, thank you very much for all the, the subs. I'll get to those here in a minute. Uh, Twitch is officially allowing us to restream to all channels as a partner, which I have never been a Twitch partner before. So I'm gonna be asking for your help because now for the first time, guys, we can actually make Partner Plus. Now, I've applied for the Partner Program. I've, I totally expect not to have any issue with us literally having, you know, four or 500 people who watch every freaking show. But in order to make Partner Plus, we have to have 350 individuals actually sub uh, and we're gonna come up with a cool, really cool thing. It's, it, it, I actually have the chance to get there by my birthday, right? So we could actually have and have this by my birthday. So if you can open up your hearts uh, and your wallets, do a subscription uh, as an individual. It can't be a prime sub, unfortunately. It has to be tier one or higher. Um, that would be very, very much appreciated. We're gonna do some, some giveaways um, to celebrate if we, as we do it for each month. Uh, this time, a uh, huge shout out to Intel. We're gonna be giving away a 14700K. Um, so if we hit the 350, uh, the 350 sub mark uh, for the month of uh, November, so this will be next month, uh, if we hit the, uh, the 350 prime sub, we'll give away a 14700K. And then every month that we go higher, we'll give away something awesome. AMD's got some stuff thrown in there. Um, we've also got some stuff from some other companies. So guys, they're gonna try and make it awesome so you can try and make it awesome and we can be basically go from partner to partner plus very very quickly so that is also another big announcement we'd love to actually have you um yeah tier two and tier three is even more uh supportive so if you could do that everything could basically get us there um guys we we officially can do some really really cool stuff with twitch this also means that we can do some better integrations and things like that so there should be some cool stuff there as well um for today I wanna go over the giveaways, cause it's a Newegg day, right? So Newegg being a huge sponsor here, Hype Train is active already. You guys are rock stars. Super appreciate you guys for getting Hype Train going. Uh, a couple things, uh, first and foremost, I learned why this thing kept falling out. I put it in the wrong ear. So uh, we, uh, we, we need to, uh, so I had to switch ears. So now it's in my other ear. Now it doesn't fall out because that's why it was falling out of the other ear. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, that was a weird thing. Um, <laughs> Um, but lastly, uh, let's talk about giveaways for today. So first and foremost, we are giving away this PC. The Glean link is available, it's live. We're gonna be giving this away, but don't worry. Guys, we're gonna be giving away a 14600K today anyway, just because. So we're gonna be giving away a 14600K here on the stream just to celebrate the launch of Intel's 14th gen CPUs. So if you wanna get in on that, don't worry. You guys can just, uh, you guys can just uh, still chill. We're gonna be giving that away near the end of the stream. So you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to uh, just kind of wait and watch. So I'm not gonna have you walk away empty handed because I know a lot of people are already excited to build this, P uh, to win this PC. Don't worry, you can still win something really, really cool as well. Um, I also wanted to add that uh, we're gonna be giving away 250 likes on the YouTube. We give away a $25 new gift card. 
Uh, if we get a level five hype train, we'll give away a $25 new a gift card. Um, and then uh, at the same time, as you basically 50 subs, $50 new a gift card, and it grows as the subs and stuff continue. So we will continue to make awesome. It will rain giveaways more than likely during the stream. It usually always does. Um, I'm excited. I feel like I, I have like this new energy um, about streaming. So I don't know if you guys have seen, I'm sorry about today. Uh, my hot water heater unfortunately died, but we are gonna have game streams now, so you guys will start seeing more active Twitch streaming as well, um, because I mean, I felt like a little bit neutered there for a bit, and it's not it's nice to basically uh, have that freedom and get going. But that's enough of that. How are you guys? I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you guys here. We already have almost 200 people already joining us, so it's so stoked to, to have you guys. How is life? How are you? Um, uh, it's just, yeah, the height Y70, we're going to be building that on Sunday. So we have some really good builds. We're also building the Aura History Untold in partnership with Xbox Studios. That's going to be building on Thursday. We're going to be giving that PC away. Uh, we've got a really amazing, uh, the uh, Hyper uh, sorry, the Evangelion EV2 build coming up with custom cable mod cables. We have a Halloween build coming up thanks to MSI. Um, guys, we have some really, really great streams. I got my costume, so we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of fun, and you guys are gonna get to see some epic PC builds. So we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on. Lots of builds, lots of giveaways, um, and just stoked to have you guys here too. Um, how everybody else is doing good? I see nice case. Uh, I do have a birthday. Yes, I do have a birthday. It's not for a while though. Let's get level five hype train. Huge shout out to Hidden Attribute for the sub. Build a bear. Or it says, maybe that wasn't Build-A-Bear, but Build-A-Bear, I'm gonna call you Build-A-Bear, even though your name is Builder-Bear01, but I'm, I've decided you're gonna be Build-A-Bear. Uh, Kaizy, uh, Azen Reaper, Shoom State, PC Guy, uh, No Pulse XBL, uh, and a Loki SMS, thank you very much for all those streams. Blue Horse Studio dropping 10 subs last, last stream. Now remember, one thing I do wanna let you know, if you are a sub on our channel, if you are a sub, you get extra entries in the Glean giveaway for this this PC giveaway. So remember, subs actually get extra entries towards that 14, seven, uh, the 14600K we're gonna be giving away at the end of the stream. They get extra entries towards the PC giveaway. You get extra entries towards the Ara History Untold giveaway. You're gonna get extra entries. And remember, you're entered to win this PC that's sitting behind here that you can't see this sub only giveaway. You're also entered to win the sub only giveaway PC that is sitting right back here. So uh, those, all those things you get entries for if you just, uh, if you just uh, keep it going. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of, lot of giveaways, a lot of things like that as well going in there. Yeah, I am master, you're absolutely a lot of things going on uh, this month and it should be awesome. Been good. I swapped out a CPU for a 7950X3D. Way overkill for me, but glad I did. No, I can understand that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do what makes you happy. Guys, 40 seconds, let's see if we can get to level three and just keep the thing going and then we'll start talking parts and all that stuff as well. Um, less than a minute, guys. Somebody can get us to level three. Remember, we just gotta get to level five. Let's get the, let's start the Partner Plus journey now. Get to practice it. Let's, let's, you guys are an amazing community. They're literally tens and tens of thousands of you. So we can make this happen. Just prime subs, bits, 20 seconds, guys. Let's keep it going. We can make it going. Thank you very much for Joe Poe for uh, dropping prime right there. Remember, prime subs get you into extra entries for that stuff too, for giveaway. So it's it's worth just dropping the prime sub. It's free. If you have Amazon Prime, you basically get a price out. Nine seconds, eight, seven, six, five. Don't let it start this way. The journey, do you happens to logic Reese's from Is it gonna, oh, it didn't make it. It's all good. Thank you very much for the guys who try to help. It is what it is. I guess you were like, you know what, Roby? We just, we really need to get you, uh, uh, really need to get you just uh, started. So Ghost Avenger, those people who did help, I really do appreciate it. It's all good. Guys, we have lots of time. There's more to go. Already 250 people. So we'll get, we'll get to try again in a, another couple hours. Okay. Let's talk about what we're putting inside of this build today because I know people are excited. This is the PC you can actually win. So we've got the Intel Core. It's not the Core i7 anymore. It's got a new name. The Intel Core 7 14700K. They've named their naming convention. So this is the Raptor Lake refresh build that we just got finished going through. If you guys said, we'll talk a little bit about the Raptor Lake refresh a little bit later on in the stream. We got the MSI MPG Z790 Edge TI Max Wi-Fi. This is MSI's brand new refresh for Z790 as well. Has things like Wi-Fi 7, Thunderbolt 5. Uh, you actually have uh, up to 8,000 megahertz on your DDR5 as well. 
um, support for things like AI Assist, APO, and all those other things that are new with 14th gen. Uh, for SSDs, huge shout out to Patriot for hooking us up and MSI for sponsoring today's build. Uh, Patriot Viper VP4300, four terabyte, that's right, four terabyte game drive, one terabyte uh, OS drive. We've got DDR5 Viper Elite 5 at 7,000 mega transfers. We get that Fantex P600 Weiss. Uh, P600S in white, custom designed by the team over at Blue Horse Studios. We got the cooler, we got that Lee & Lee Galahad 2 L uh, LCD in white with that beautiful screen, so we're gonna have that as well. And then we've got the MSI MPG A850G. And then lastly, lastly guys, I gotta show this. Um, huge shout out to Cable Mod who reached out to me and said, Roby, like, we know that you love Asia Horse, but can we start showing off a little bit more of the Cable Mod custom cables? You know, we've been trying to sponsor your builds for a long time. What's going on? Get us some cables. So guys, we've been doing, a, we have a number of these cable mod cable uh, opportunities coming out. Check out, check out these cables, guys. All custom designed by me with the beautiful combs and all that sort of stuff. Should look really, really good at the build. I know some people have seen pictures of it already, but we're gonna be using these uh, instead along with the 16 pin connector as well. So it's going to look very, very good. They cost too much. Well, I mean, Again, uh, it depends on where you want, what value is. Yes, you can get uh, some nice Asia Horse cables or even cable mod extensions. Uh, if you just want to do extensions for about 30 bucks. For the cables that we've designed, these are about $212, but given this is a giveaway and a partnership, I want to. I basically want to show this with it. A lot of times when we do cost specific builds, uh, that's where I'll basically use uh, something a lot less expensive. Again, trying to give you guys the most bang for your buck. And then if you want to go up to something like cuffs, uh, custom cable mod cables or something like that, uh, for things like themed builds, like what we're going to be doing for Halloween, for the uh, EVA 02 build from ASUS ROG or a build like this, then we'll absolutely cable mod uh, as much as we can. So it should be good. Um, and again, guys, links for the giveaway and stuff are happening. We are giving away a 14600K at the very end end of this as well. And don't forget, uh, if you are subscribed, you do get extra entries for all those giveaways as well. Uh, Thuper Duper Steve, number one, love your name, and thank you for the sub. Um, hey, and there's Blue Horse. By the way, Blue Horse Ron in the channel, uh, chilling over in YouTube. So if you want to talk to the designer, uh, he's going to be providing, like I said, we're going to have assets um, that you guys can download. So if you actually want to build this custom case yourself, you absolutely can. Um, and we want to make sure, we're trying to make it more approachable, right, Ron? We're going to show you guys how to get into this. So the more people who do custom cases like this, uh, the better it is for the industry in general. Uh, Sage Wise, thank you very much for the Prime sub as well. So <laughs> it's okay, Kurosaki. It's good to have you here. Okay, guys, should we start building our, should we start getting our build started? I think that seems like the right plan. And by the way, Discord for text, if you guys want to join, uh, Discord is open so we can uh, we can have chatty waddy uh, this time. Uh, it's about to be a dope build. That just queso, it's already a dope build. It's already a dope build. It's not even about to be, it's just flat out going to be. Uh, let's just make sure Lex Luthor's here. Uh, or can you hear me? I just want to make sure you, you're coming through okay. I can hear you, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're good. So we got our, we got our, we got our, we got our team as well. Okay, so before I get too into this, a couple things I want to talk about, right? Because there's always there's always the conversation again. Because Raptor Lake refresh is such an interesting thing, and I I, I, I appreciate Intel and Newey giving me the stage to just talk a little bit about this. Because guys, I'm going to be serious about this. If you are a 13th gen, or in certain cases even a 12th gen, you're more than likely this is not a CPU for you. Uh, what this ends, what this does provide, especially around the 14700K, is a great opportunity to get some more e-cores and really a content creator focused PC. Again, when you think about what you get for the same price of what you used to get for 13th gen, uh, you can see the same price drops more than likely happen on the CPUs as well. It just gives you more options. And the other thing too that I'm actually really excited about is the additional tooling that you're gonna get, things like AI Assist, um, which basically is a very, very good, I'd, I'd love to actually, we're gonna do some testing around this stuff as well uh, with their AI Assist um, uh, overclocking tool, um, as well as APO, which is gonna basically just get you free frames along with uh, the stuff that you already get off of optimizations from devs. And, and then lastly, of course, the other thing too is that uh, access to things like Wi-Fi 7, which for streaming and all that sort of stuff is also going to be pretty epic, especially if you're using things like handheld gaming and stuff like that. But Wi-Fi 7 actually has the ability to use multi-connection, um, which allows you to reduce latency and then at the same time uh, doubling in terms of security and then support for you know up to 45 gigabits per second, which is pretty impressive as well. So there's some great stuff going in here. 
Again, this is a refresh. It is an optimization around uh, the the new uh, the older Alder Lake um, CPU stuff. So again, you can't think of it as like a new generation, like what we're seeing with Meteor Lake, which will be coming out with laptops here uh, in the next like three to five months. But it is an option for people who are looking for either the best of the best of Intel um, with some with some efficiencies, right? We've also seen efficiencies in terms of where we see uh, CPU uh, CPU. Um, bottlenecking and then also even in power consumption as well in certain places uh, and then the other thing too is that it also means in terms of what you can do from a silicon side in terms of uh, uh, overclocking etc so there's room for it there is i just not to you can't i want to make sure everybody's really clear it is not a generation over generation you're not looking at buying this and seeing like you know game uh game jumps of you know double digits in terms of uh jumping from a 13.6 to a 14.6 or a 13.7 to a 14.7 um, and so just want to be really clear in terms of where this is targeted at so which is super important okay here we go time to build what do you guys think and then if you guys have questions of course I, one of the things I've always unleashed uh, is my uh, is my team uh, you know people like org or a BMOC or whatever, who guys, will, they will give you the unfiltered opinion, right? Like again, I, I let my text talk the, the way that they want. They represent their own. They are, they represent the views of Roby Tech as well as, um, you know, themselves. And so if they have differing opinions, that's okay. I mean, this is, I'm never somebody who's going to say there's only one way to think about stuff. So that's the thing that always goes through here. Uh, Baba Ganoush dropping his two gifted subs. Ruru2, thank you very much for the sub. Gamu60, Build Bear, giving out a community sub in need of temperance as well. Sargadia. Also, thank you for the sub. Guys, where were you in the hype train? Could have used you, but you know, it's okay. Okay, here we go. Let's get the uh, let's get this started. Let's look at this new MOBO. Have you seen these yet, Org? The new Max ones? Not all the new models, but some do look very good. Yeah, they're, they're, I, like MSI, this one again, here we go, guys. The first time we're seeing this, Wi-Fi 7. Which, you know what, I, I will tell you, Org, I was not that excited about until I did a bunch of research on it. Have you looked a lot into Wi-Fi 7? Um, Multi-link operation, which is actually pretty rad. Super good speed, drop in latency. I mean, this could be really good for cloud gaming. Uh, and then, of course, you got Gen 5 and then Thunderbolt 5 and all the other jazz on it, too, So, which is pretty cool. Have you looked much into it at all, Org? No, but my main concern is, like with Wi-Fi 6, it's more limited in range than 2.4, so in bigger houses, etc., you may not get that speed. Yeah, but the thing is, is that it, uh, the drop-off, so yes, you're right. So you're not, like, if you're gonna get 45 gigabits per second, the drop-off is higher, but when they do it versus 2.4 gigahertz, let's say, for instance, you go up, you know, 100 feet away, all in all, your, will, your speed will still be two to three times that of what you would get at 2.4 gigahertz, but it would be a degradation from what you were when you were close to the over. And that's because, you know, it's in the five to six gigahertz range versus 2.4 gigahertz. Um, but 2.4 gigahertz, the other thing too is that the one thing that is pretty cool is that you'll actually connect when you have a Wi-Fi 7 router at 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz, giving you that multi-link operation, which which is unique to Wi-Fi 7. So that is a good point though, and something to definitely keep in mind. Org's not wrong. Uh, what do you think about uh, Xfinity rolling out Doxis 4.0? Um, to be honest, outside of Thomas and paying attention to Thomas and what he talks about, with I haven't paid, I haven't thought a whole lot about it. Um, you have any thoughts, Org, on Doxis 4.0? I don't follow that much either, but it usually means higher speeds, higher capacities. But when it comes to cable companies. They do have a limited amount of bandwidth which they share with the channels and the upload and download. Yeah. So there's always things to be always things to be cautious about, right? But yeah. Hey, Tom says, hey, I know about that. So uh, one thing that could be interesting one-to-one -one is if you wanted to talk to Tom, Tom could definitely give you uh, some insight into that. Well, it's weird. I got to take this apart like it's a build that we're going to be giving away because we are. I'm not taking this build apart, so it's not retail, so it's always an odd thing we haven't done. We have some really cool, by the way, guys, we have some really epic commission builds coming up, so um, never fear. I know we've it's been a while, but we've been so busy with launches and other things, new cases and everything, so it always gets odd. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we don't, we, if you guys, all in all, we always have PCs we can build. We have ready, like essentially almost like the ready-built versions of PCs. 
Um, but for the most part, a lot of times when I, I start the, the PCs for sale thing, a lot of times people end up wanting changes. So if you're, if you're interested, just reach out. More than likely, if you want something quickly, we can turn it around. We can just tell you what hardware we have on, on hands. 39 months from Scott Maxfield, dude. All right, there we go, guys. Here we're gonna open up, check it out. We're gonna open up our, our, this is, so we got the press kits. These are the press kits. This is not obviously how uh, the systems actually look when you do them. Um, hold on one sec, guys. Hold on one, one, one sec, one sec. I'm gonna call the wife real quick. But yeah, these are not the ones that you would normally get. They would come, they obviously come different, but there it is right there. Hey, uh, did you get Maddie's text? Sorry, I'm live, but I, I meant to call you. Yeah. Okay, cool. I got her script. Okay, perfect. I love you. Oh, oh, I love you too. Bye. Bye. Mrs. Roby Tech. I should have told her a dad joke, right? So anyway, here we go. I7, uh, the, sorry, Core 7. It's not, core, it's, it still says I7 on it, but I call it the Core 7 or whatever it was, but yeah, we'll leave it alone. I'm just gonna, it's, it'll go in. I have a general question, Birth of Max says. What's your general question? No, so Chris, this is a Raptor Lake refresh. It's based on Alder Lake. It is not Meteor Lake. Meteor Lake is uh, mobile first and that comes out. Uh, really kind of starts rolling out. Rumor is sometime near the uh, end of the year and then really kind of heavily over the course of next year. Yeah. Hey, Lord Servo, thank you for the sub. Guys, you are all helping me get that partner plus. Appreciate you so much. Uh, you know what? We can't, why don't we go ahead and put it in there? Yeah, let's go ahead and see if the, the, uh, the, let's do, will the VRM, will it cover the, clear the VRM? Let's do that real quick. And then I'll go ahead and jump over to M.2's real quick. D uh, uh, Blondie. So let's go and do that and I'll do the M.2's real quick. <clears throat> yeah, DJ's absolutely right. Okay, so the first thing we get, which I think is super cool about the new Mobos is, and it's this actually existed on the other one, is you get the beautiful, uh, easy to, well, easier to remove, but you click this and then now you just remove this. So no, even, you don't even need a screw for this one. And we're gonna peel this. Roby, uh, please check your DM for a second if you wouldn't mind. Uh, Discord? Yep. The concern is that empty slot. Okay, yeah, so we'll we'll not put it there. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna actually move this down a slot, uh, just because of a possible like we don't want to we just because of a possible bottleneck there. So we'll go down. We'll install down here, which is fine. Thank you very much for that, Borg. So we're gonna put our NVMEs down here. Here we go. Roby Tech teamers, so happy to be here today. Yay, I've missed these live builds for about a month till today. Well, I'm glad that you're here too. Thank you for being so, uh, the A, thank you for being so um, uh, generous. And then B, uh, thanks for just being so exuberant. I like having people join and have a good time. That's the whole point. Okay, so we got a couple things to pull there. And Org, if you wanna say that, you can say that, right? Why, why, we're, why we're doing that. I'm not, we're, I don't wanna tell them yet. I'm not. Wait. I'm putting a Gen 4. I'm putting a Gen 4 down. But they're putting. We're putting them down below. Go ahead, Org. Basically, many boards of this generation have an issue with sharing and bifurcating the PCIe 16 slot the GPU goes into. So, if you use the first M2 slot on this board, it will bifurcate the PCIe slot for the GPU to be 8x instead of 16x. Yeah, which we do not want to do, obviously, and nor do we, like if somebody ends up deciding that they want to go a little bit lower, you know, if they wanted, if they wanted to basically upgrade at some point in time, we didn't want to, we don't want to minimize how, how, how fast that first by, the first by 16 slot is. Now, somebody was asking, hey, Roby, why not Gen 5 in a Gen 5 thing? 
I'll be honest, guys, uh, Gen 5 for gaming, which is what this is kind of focused on. And again, we're trying to build a build that people want to replicate. This is not a build that's just spending money for the sake of making money, right? Like, again, we're spending money on and building parts that go together. Honestly, Gen 4 just makes a lot of sense for gaming right now um, because the, unless you're being like a... Uh, unless we're a high-end, super high-end content creator working with 8K or super uh, like large 4K files, then even you wouldn't get a lot of love or support out of Gen 5 at this point in time. And then the cost difference doesn't really make a whole lot of sense right now. I think Org, you would agree with that. I'm gonna say yes, I was spacing out for a second there. Oh, I was just saying, Gen 4, spending money on Gen 5 right now in VME drives for most people doesn't make sense. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so we have a one terabyte in slot one and we have a four terabyte giving you five terabytes of storage in this drive. Again, very game and content creator focused right now um, with very, very fast speeds. Um, the Viper VP43, uh, the 4300 Elites uh, are DRAM-less, but they use the H, uh, what is it called? H, it's their new, it's a brand new, it's not new tech, but the other thing too is that um, it's got a two, uh, what is it, a 20 petabyte read-write uh, rule. So in other words, you're not gonna see the same degradation off of this stuff. Uh, Viper just released the whole thing. It keeps costs, it makes the cost a little bit lower. And then the speed is actually faster than uh, what you would get with a DRAM uh, NVMe drive. Uh, so it's not like TLC or QLC or anything like that either. Um, so I got, I'm doing a whole video on it. We're gonna have them talk about it, but it's something a little bit different than what you've had to see. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot for NVMe's. Yeah, five terabytes is a lot of storage space. Okay, so we got five terabytes of storage now. Uh, Stream Tech, thank you very much for the sub. 13 months, my man. To expand when it comes to NVMEs, gaming doesn't really need more than Gen 3, but Gen 4 is so cheap now. Yep. Why not? Exactly. You can get a SN850 for like 100 bucks, or at least you could during sales. You still can. And those can. are about the same price. Yep, exactly. So. It just it just doesn't make sense to spend. I like I want to I want this to be something somebody looks at and says, "Hey, I would like to build that exact same build," and you can't, right? Okay, right, so we got that ready. Oh, let's go ahead. And, okay, do we have? I believe the thing is go. Uh, hi, Roby. Is it worth for me for the Y70 Touch in Europe? The cost is forty euro, and now I have a Corsair 780T. So that is that is just a you question, man. The Y70 Touch is awesome. It's a great case. If the screen and the integration with the screen is really, really well done. Uh, if you're into the aesthetic, it's up to you in, in terms of whether you want to spend the money to move over. It's not a question of need. It's a question of what you want and what you consider uh, value at this point in time. Um, Blondie, we, okay, it is done. Okay, so here we go. Will the uh, socket cover clear the VRM? That is a question. And here we go, guys. Brand new. This is the first Robitech Live. Uh, 14700K build. Not my first 14 gen build, but my first live one with you guys. Here we go. And uh, you know, it's cool that it's a giveaway, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Popping it down. Nope, that didn't, wow, that wasn't even close. That, nope, the answer was very much no. I feel like that's always like the long ball, right? Like people who bet on that are like going for the, uh, the long odds. So, sorry guys. It was the groundhog saw his shadow today, I guess, is the way to think about it. Okay, so guys, we're gonna get RAM clicks in. Let's do nine, what do you think, 95, 96 today? Brand new RAM uh, org today. What do you think, RAM click level? Okay, we'll go with 96, so we're gonna go with 96. Uh, Axe V, uh, Alexy, sorry, Alexy, we're actually gonna show, well, you guys will see thermals on the show. We'll actually run, we run all the thermals and stuff here. We, uh, yeah, but I, I have the numbers itself. Guys, check it out, brand new RAM from Patriot. This is their new Viper Elite. Um, I have kits all the way up to 8,000. Today we're gonna do 32 gigs of DDR5 at 7,000 mega transfer. So again, uh, really kind of stretching that, uh, that 14 gen goes up to support for 8,000 mega transfer. Um, so we're probably gonna end up running this a little bit low, slower than 7,000 uh, 7, probably, just because there's still some instability stuff that they're working through it here. But you guys, this stuff looks sleek. So yeah, we're gonna check out some new stuff and this is uh, some play around. Dewam Slayer, thank you for the resub. And there it is, dude, 25 months with Robicat. Thank you for 
doing that. <laughs> Thanks, Grit. Yeah, I like I like this watch a lot. I'm a huge fan of the Ultra too. Uh, Bio Sympathy wouldn't say you shouldn't unless you are having it. Yeah, you you if you it's again BIOSes are like one of those things that once you you only need to upgrade if you're having issues. There's always a, there's always a room to kind of play with things or ruin things if you uh, if you um, uh, upgrade your BIOS unnecessarily. But I will tell you for like I will upgrade it for RAM timings, especially when uh, 32 gigs for two sticks. Yeah, this is a two by 16 DDR5 Sargad Sargadius. Yeah, I like to do it for a RAM support. Especially as you start getting faster RAM because they the memory controllers on and the bio, the chipsets just end up being a lot better for RAM support over time. Okay, so we're still going RAM clicks. We still got a little bit of time. Grab our thing. You guys having fun? You guys enjoying this? Everybody having a good time? I hope you guys are. I guess just a quick update while we're waiting for the 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 clicks the the vote to get done. Uh, 250 likes, YouTube, we give away a $25 new gift card. Uh, we have the entries for this PC are alive now. Go check out the Gleam uh, if you want to win the PC. Uh, we're going to be giving away a 14, uh, 600K at the end of the show. So if you want to stick around, make sure you stick around for that. We're going to show you thermals. We're going to show you performance, all that sort of stuff as well. Um, we're, we'll go through parts list here in a second. And then lastly, guys, going for partner finally. I can stream on Twitch and YouTube without any issue. I had a modified affiliate agreement and I can officially go for partner. So we are doing the drive to partner plus we can do it by my birthday i uh, just need your help so need some tier one tier two and tier three subs uh, over at twitch.tv slash robitech guys we can find i, I feel like it kind of like a re re renewed thing because my close closer relationship with twitch and everything like that as well so it should be fun guys super appreciate you guys being here let's talk about parts real quick and then we'll get back to the build so what are we putting inside of this brand new 14700K giveaway PC that we're doing in partnership with Intel and Newegg? Uh, and a huge shout out again to MSI and uh, Patriot for giving us parts. We got the Core 7 14700K. Uh, we got the MSI MPG Z790 Edge Ti Max Wi-Fi motherboard. It's their brand new refresh motherboards for the uh, Raptor Lake refresh. We got the MSI RTX 4070 Ti Gaming X Trio in black. Uh, we've got two uh, NVMe SSDs. We got the 4300 Lite 4 terabyte and the 4 300 light one terabyte uh the vapor elite 5 7000 mega transfer at cl38 32 gigs at 2x16 we got the p600s in white which has been custom designed by our folks over at blue horse studios and we got the lean lee galahad 2 lcd in white so we're going to get some of that beautiful and by the way this screen everything on that aio was actually really cool and then the power supply was in the msi mpg a850g and then we are actually partnering and we are actually partnering with uh, the fine folks over at Cable Mod to do custom cables for this stuff. And again, we have all the graphics, everything you want to do. So if you want to customize and do this yourself, say for instance, you don't win it, I know that would make you sad. Uh, you can still uh, go and try and do the build yourself. Uh, and we're going to have some stuff for that. Um, so yeah, as well. So there you go. All right, here we go, guys. Let's bring in the clicks there. Looks like we're good. 96, brand new RAM, world debut here on Roby Tech. Showing it off right now. Look at that. It's it's. I like the design of this, and it's really really fast. Um, we're also going to be using some of this on our Eva O2 build as well. I think we're doing. I think we're doing seven, 64 gigs for dims at 7,000 megahertz. So okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that was. Oh, 99.2. Last minute click coming in there, and boom, done. That was like it just like came in at the very end with a 99.2 like secret click there at the end. Okay, one more. 99.7, that last little click. Uh, I think your ears, I think I said Viper Elite. Yeah, I don't think I ever said Vapor. We Guys, it happened twice. So GSXR therapy, it happened twice, dude. It just was at the very, very end. It decided to kind of come in and sneak at the end. It was like end notes of, of, of clicks. <laughs> Is the 14400 cycle, what do you mean 14400? Yeah. Yeah, it came, it came in last minute with a the click there. Okay, so everything here is good to go. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna grab our 
AIO real quick and uh, just check and make sure we don't need to do anything. So here we go. Justin Roby has a show. AIAIO. And on that show, he builds PCs. AIAIO. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, and Blondie Bikiki. Justin Roby has a show. AIAIO. There we go, guys. AIO time. Let's get it in here. I'm just saying, you gotta dance. You gotta dance when you do your AIO. But here it is right here, the Lee and Lee Galahad 2. Oops, upside down. The Lee and Lee Galahad 2. We're using the SL Infinity fans. Um, and uh, you are, uh, we're gonna be uh, making this look super sweet. So uh, really excited about this. But let's see how to mount it and what we need to do here. Easy come, easy go. You're like PC guys like Eeyore right now. Oh, well, there you go, GSXR. You got you got the points anyway. You got nothing to worry about. Okay, here we go. Zoom it out. Okay, here we go. So we need this right here. Okay, so it's like kind of like the standard thing right here. Uh, Sargat Aries, this cooler is very, very nice looking. Like high quality for sure. Okay, this is all the extra stuff. I know we do not need this. Let me just verify here real quick. So 14, we have a little, couple little holders and then that's it, okay, cool. So you had everything that I know. I just wanted to verify I was right. Hey guys, this also, check it out. It actually comes with, it comes with a spreader. Look at that, it comes with a spreader. This is already now my new favorite AIO because it comes with a spreader. So to put that in the drawer there. That's so cool. Lee and Lee learning from uh, Lee, learning from us tech folks. I mean, honestly, something I really just appreciate about Lee and Lee is how much they learn just in general. I mean, they're they're always one of those companies that doesn't just they they don't take stuff for granted, um, or just you know, or like not try and improve and take customer stuff for sure. So, awesome of them. Okay, so let's put this away for now. We don't really need this again for a while. We're just gonna get our bracket on. Sergeant Nobody, that looks like my next AIO. Maybe it is. Maybe it is your next AIO. Is Lee and Lee, I don't believe so. I don't think Lee and Lee is a real person. Yeah, it's, it is a little bit different. You are right. All right, here we go, guys. So we're gonna just get this set up and ready. All you're gonna do is, after we got all this all this stuff in, all you're gonna do is grab your bracket, which is good to go here. Just slide it all through here, just like that. Nothing we need to change all that much. You've got these little white caps. These are gonna hold it in. They're like little rubber caps. You're just gonna put it on each one of these little setup things right here. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> There we go, just like that. And this one goes right here. That's, I, I have to say, I really like these like rubber caps, these little gasket type things, because they, now you can, now you got it held down, no problem. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, because we care about you guys, I'm gonna throw some Noctua thermal paste on here, but we're gonna use our Lee and Lee spreader and get this looking good, you know what I'm saying? You guys want it looking nice, right? NTH2 or NTH1. There we go. Now, with any Intel chip, definitely want to make sure we cover the entire IHS. There we go. Because there is stuff everywhere. And don't be afraid to be a little uh, generous with your uh, thermal paste here. You don't have to be stingy, guys. If you're using the eight, the uh, if you happen to be following along with this video and you're like, oh, I want to, 
you know, you're using the stuff that thermal uh, that uh, uh, Lee and Lee gave you, you should put the whole tube on there. And again, as long as you have a lot, it will spread out. So, so even if you've got some unevenness, like kind of what I've got here, it will spread out. There we go. Okay, cool. We're in good shape. We're good to go there. I'll be honest. I don't like this one, this spreader, as much as I like my Thermal Grizzly ones, but it works. Yeah, it's got a nice viscosity to it, so it's like definitely one of the easier, the easier uh, thermal pastes to uh, spread. But I don't really much care for this spreader all that much, so it's going in the garbage. Still nice that they gave you one. All right, go. Okay, we're good to go there. Okay, so there it is, it's all spread out, ready to go. So we're gonna get this out of the way. Let's get our case ready. Okay, so here is our beautifully designed Ron Horse from Blue, uh, sorry, Blue Horse Studios, Ron Horse, Blue Horse Studios Intel themed uh, PC we're gonna be building in today. So we're just gonna strip it down. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is to start right here, lift this up, look at that etched glass. And it takes a little, it can be a little rough, okay? Just kind of swinging back and forth, and there you go, popped off. And then here in the back, go to the side here. Oh, there, the, so Sergeant Nobody, that tube is not all the way full. There's not that much in it. Oh no, there's a little bit, I got a little bit of thermal paste on my finger here, we're gonna get rid of that. I don't want to rub that all over the case. So it's only got, it, that's why I was saying that, is it's, it's actually not quite full. So you don't have to worry about, you don't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, if you were going to use a whole tube, that's a little much. But the, the amount that, therm, that Lee and Lee gave you uh, would be just fine. All right, there we go, guys. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. It just, you basically unscrew it and then slide it just like that. It pops right off. If you want to just be safe, if you want to just be safe right here, um, you could take this off so that way it doesn't fall off. Um, if you are going to be using this under load, definitely recommend removing these, um, but they're nice for like, you know, if you're doing gaming and stuff like that, we'll show you temperatures with that on. So you can game with it without much of a problem. You are restricting airflow, but it's, it's totally fine. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, same thing we did with the front one. Just gonna pull this out, there's a little tab. Then you just lift up. Swinging back and forth. Slowly kind of lifting from the bottom as you go. Eventually it comes off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Just like that, it's off. All right, and then lastly, right here on the front, we're gonna go and remove this if you want to, but you can just pull from the bottom and then the whole thing just comes right off. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove this as well. And there we go. Okay, and then our street, so our case is completely empty. Now, some work that we've already done on the case. Igor, thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. You are a rock star, my man. Uh, Dwarm Slayer, also thank you for your resub. A uh, couple things to do with the case. A, this did have Fantex fans in it. We've already taken them out. Also, if you were following along and you want to do this build, one thing we have done is we've removed one of the, uh, the plates here, and then we've basically mounted our Lee and Lee. So inside of your Lee and Lee, I'll show you one side of these. Inside of your three pack, uh, you can go ahead and grab this uh, extension, uh, sorry, this little puck, 
and then you're going to install it so the power is coming out of the side. We've gone ahead and already mounted that. And then we've pre-run one of our fan cables uh, just here at the top. So that's all it is. Everything else is just exactly how it would be uh, if you were to get this case normally. Um, we've just, we've already pre-run our cables. Um, for our fans and I'll show you where those go, but just you guys will be able to follow along. These are really really easy um, So the first one uh, you can see is just basically bundled for our fans up here at the front And then the second one is for our fans that are for our AIO so pretty straightforward We just already had these run So if you want to follow along and do that you absolutely can and that's what you would do So a couple things just to do is run your fan cables up along the side here And you can see actually in the case right here we got one sitting right here, and then the other one sitting right here. And so this is for our front fans, and then this is for our AIO. So that's why we have them run the way that we've got them run right now. So, <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put our case down and start the, uh, start the install of the MOBO and everything. Well, actually, let's go and do our fans first. So we'll do our front fans first, actually, and get that done. What I find interesting about the AIO is it does not make you use one of the controllers. It's all built into it. Yes, yes. You just have to use the controllers for the fans still though. But yeah, you can just use the USB in that case. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. We do not need this. All this stuff is gonna go inside. There we go. I'm gonna grab our cables. Got a couple cables in here. We got our fan things already. So the only thing we're gonna grab is our, we got our fan stuff and then these two things I'm not overly worried about. I'm not gonna use those. And then we're gonna just take out our fans. Knock out, you missed a whole much, a whole lot. Okay, let's go to static here. Hey, Kenneth, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Also, Bullet Magnet, thank you very much for the sub. Hans Luther, thank you for the sub. Smoke, thank you for the resub. All you guys really appreciate that support. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and put this away. Okay, those, that's that. Okay, right, let's, let's get our fans put together now. Okay, so we got our fans already here. There we go, right there. Oops, it would help if I put them the right way. There we go. Okay, let's grab our microfiber cloth, just clean up our There we go. Cleaning up our infinity fans. They get touched a little bit there. There we go. Okay, cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mount these inside the case. Ugh. 
We got our already ran our we've already run our cable for it. All right, here we go. And then we're gonna kind of hide it. We're gonna kind of do it kind of a little bit high up. Main reason being is, is that we know where the fans are gonna sit down and we wanna hide as many cables um, from the fans, etc., as possible. So there's no visible fans from the front. So we're just being smart about where we place our fans to make sure that we end up with a clean looking build. That's the most important thing. Oh, and it looks like uh, Blondie's getting ready for Zip tie count, guys. Zip tie man, zip tie man. Guess the count of them if you can. Even us, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. Okay, guys, so get your zip tie count in. By the way, John the Papaya, thank you very much for the stuff. Kenneth, thank you very much. Uh, and then also Shockwave. Hi, Roby, hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for having some chill and friendly atmosphere where I can relax and hang out. Dude, anytime. That is why we are doing what we're doing. And we are driving to Partner Plus, guys. So something that I'm doing in partnership with the community um, is we're driving, uh, finally can be a partner um, and stream on YouTube and Twitch. So uh, thank you so much for your generosity and helping me do that. If everything goes well, we'll be able to have it the month of my birthday. So it's just cool. Wiggles every time I hear this jam. <laughs> oh, nice, I like it. Uh, around the four RAM sticks actually hurt your more FPS and performance rather than just having two. Um, you know what, that's interesting. I haven't checked that. I mean, the thing is, is that I think it depends on most people when they run four RAM sticks have to run at a lower speed. So I don't think having four RAM sticks outside of that would actually have much of an impact. Um, I think it has more to do with, like I said, speed limitations, because obviously if you have to slow down your RAM to make four RAM sticks compatible, then you would see an issue. But I, I don't know how it would do otherwise because that shouldn't have any impact on game stuff. But most people who have four RAM sticks have to run it at a degraded speed to make the four RAM sticks work. How are we doing likes on YouTube, folks? It is possible that having four sticks of RAM could cause extra latency. Yeah, but that's usually, again, that's kind of one of the same things where you're doing degradations, right? Because your cast latency goes down, right? Well, I still run DDR4, so I can do 3,600 at four sticks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I think for four, yeah, I think most people, like, I think it's, people have said that about DDR5, but yeah. Uh, and understand, DDR5, thinking about cast latency is very different versus cast latency at DDR4. So, like, you can do CL30 DDR5 now. Okay. Okay, let's gonna drop this down. Let's go ahead and put our MOBO in. You guys ready to look and see how good this looks? But DDR5 definitely does help um, game speeds. All right, here we go. Drop this in. Ugh. Yeah, we actually, I have some uh, CL30 DDR3, I mean DDR5. And it's like CL30 DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz. There we go, guys. That looks good, right? All right, let us put in our, let's grab our stick here. Here's our accessory kit. Literally says accessory kit on it. Yes, it's, it's, it does have it built into the controller, but it's it's different than what you would consider like what DDR4 error checking used to be. Okay, this is vertical mount stuff. I don't need that. Looking for is right. Nope, I don't need that. Don't need that. I need this, okay. Uh, at Hulk, it's called Expo on AMD.
It runs at four, yes, uh, 48. It should, four sticks should run lock in at 48 now, depending on which version, which, what specific MOBO and chip you're running. Okay, here we go. With each generation coming out, we'll see better memory support. Like we're seeing 7,000 now for the latest 14th gen board. So yep. as time goes on, we're gonna see faster speeds, better support. Yep, which is good, right? So uh, I think next year is gonna be, and the other thing too is like the cost has gone way down. Remember how much, it, how expensive it used to be at the beginning? Yeah, Attack of the Class. That's why they actually, you know, there was a time that they'll they'll make what are called dummy sticks, so you can still have the four stick look. No, Roderick, no, you can, no, that's not true. You can do DDR, like I can get DDR5 running at 6,000 mega transfer. You're gonna see DDR5 running at 6,600 today. And no, buying above 4,800 does help. Hey, Riddick dropping his 10 gifted subs, taking us to 53 guys, on to our next challenge. $100 new gift card now. There we go, next goal up. Oop. <clears throat> okay, there we go. We want the net, we're just going through all the stuff now. You're welcome, Roderick, no problem. Getting our MOBO in. What do you guys think of the build so far? Nice and white. <laughs> What's up, Zeistin? Just got done eating dinner, figured I'd hop on in for a little while. Thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. We are, guys, I'm so excited. Like I was telling, I don't know if you guys know, but officially we can now stream as partners to YouTube and Twitch. And so we are officially a going for partner. And that's what we're, that's, I really appreciate all the subs and everything today as we drive towards partner plus. We have to have 350 sub points, which is a little bit different. So tier two, tier three subs, all of those things help us get partner plus. And if everything goes well, once I get accepted to partner, which I expect to have happen any day, then we will, uh, we'll have three months. We have to show three months of that um, so that way we can hit partner plus, which thank you very much for all the support guys. Yeah, tier two and tier. So if you if you can, again, just three months and then again, if we get partner plus for the first month, we'll give away, Intel gave us a 14, uh, 700K to give away. Um, so for that, um, and then next month, AMD gave us something to give away for that. And then uh, for the last month, uh, we have an NVIDIA giveaway. So if we have, but we have to do it concurrently. We have to do two, one, two, three. So that's how we got to unlock those giveaways. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> so everything's in. Now what we're gonna do right now is let's start routing our cables. So that's what we're gonna start working on now. And then let's put in our rear fan. Grayfire, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate you. All right, let's get our rear fan in. We've got everything routed for it already. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we are going to go like this. You you have to have subs. It's three. It's 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 weird. It, uh, Blondie can give you the info, but basically we need it. So uh, gifted subs don't count and uh, prime subs don't count. It's actually only legitimate subs. So if you are helping, if you're like, you're one of the people who wants to help, being a tier two or tier three subscriber is the biggest one because that makes you worth three subs, essentially, uh, Riddick. Okay, let's go to the side here. Yeah, prime doesn't count for partner plus. Once you get into partner plus, uh, you the cut and everything, then prime absolutely counts. But just to, to, to actually, um, What's the word? Qualify, you have to do it without prime subs. D gifted tier three, I think, yes, gifted tier three does work. 
That I do know, gifted tier three and gifted tier two do work. But gifted tier one don't. Yeah, it's a push for partner guys and I'm hope I'm leaning on you guys a little bit and I, I appreciate it. It just means obviously bigger giveaways and all that sort of stuff too. And we can start doing stuff with Twitch officially. And I really appreciate all of you guys. You guys, I don't, I never take this for granted. I never take what I do for granted, how lucky I am and how lucky I'm having to just have an amazing community for that. So, Gritorski, thank you very much for the sub. What were you saying, Zeiston? It's too bad they just can't go back with all the, you know, give you, give you a six month recap. Oh, I know. All them subs. Yeah, but it's okay. It gives us something to shoot for, right? And we it an, does. We have an amazing community. We're getting close to DreamHack too. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I've already got my my vacation set. Yeah, me too. It's going to be fun. And I've got and the road trip planned. Papa Roby Tech will be there, guys. Nice. Yep, Papa Roby Tech will be there. So we will actually have Papa Roby Tech here on site. Uh, guys, I don't know if I told you this, but Papa Roby Tech is officially in cancer remission. So for folks who are following along, it is official that he is he's in commission. Uh, he's in remission, he's back and doing stuff. And so he will be joining us at DreamHack Atlanta. So that is, that is awesome. Yeah, so thank you very much for all of the prayers and well wishes and everything who was a part of that, guys. It was, he, it meant a lot to him to have everybody supporting him and watching over him and stuff like that. Okay, so guys, we got our rear fan in. The only thing we got left now is just our, we just got to put in our AIO, but let's go ahead and route our cable. So you guys, I love our community for that reason. You guys are, you guys are rock stars. I appreciate you. Uh, it's DreamHack is in uh, December. And oh, that's right. Tom is going to be here too. Yeah, you got, you got a whole, you got Whoa. a ton of the crew coming. Wow. Blade of Ice dropping five gifted subs too. Thank you very much for that, Blade. Appreciate you, five my man. Gifted. Five tier, two, tier two. Wow. So that would also help. Thank you very much, Blue. Yeah, Ron's excited. We love we love Ron. Ron showing up, guys, just so you guys know. Get ready for some Blue Horse Studios YouTube videos that are gonna be showing up on Roby Tech Live. Uh, so we're gonna be showing Blue Horse Studios. We got my team. We're gonna be doing a lot more partnering up, which should be awesome. Blade Office. I like saying Blade Office, because he that's that's a callback. El Solo Doctor. Fine. <laughs> That's an old joke. Um, okay, what do I need? Oh yeah, I'm like, where am I going? Guys, I'm like so like, I'm so touched by all the stuff that's happening right now. And I'm all like, I'm, I'm discombobulated. Now I can pay attention. I'm gonna start working on this uh, rear stuff, right, Korok? Okay, here we go. Um, so let's go ahead and start <clears throat> getting this up. Okay, so, ooh, oh. shoot, it came off. Alan Roby, you will be proud. I actually bought a wagon to haul my 5000D this time. Oh, really? Is yeah. it one of those collapsible ones? It is. Oh, yeah. I have one of those, too. Those things are amazing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clip up our our fans here. And I also have a sag bracket in my 5000D, finally. Oh, nice. I think I'm going to travel with the Tiki. I haven't decided which Tiki yet. Well, actually, I know because it's an Intel event. I'm, I'm traveling with the Intel Tiki. What am I saying? Sarah's you like, what bring, do you mean you don't know? You gotta bring both Tiki's. What's Tom gonna game on? Tom, Tom, aren't you bringing a PC? I thought Tom was bringing a PC. He's, he's actually traveling. I'm gonna actually make him try. I'm actually gonna make him use a laptop. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not doing that, that's me. I thought you were well, bringing I, him a system and making us all, and making us I all barbecue. I, I only have the one desktop at the moment. I am bringing my laptop as well for general use, but you know, that's just wrong. Oh, I'm bringing the Pelican. Yeah, we'll have the one Pelican. I just got to think about the other Pelican. Yeah, because Tom's going to be traveling. Huh. Maybe we'll have him travel. Maybe we'll have him use the Nook because we could put like a 4070 in there or something like that, you know? Nook would be okay for gaming. If we just had something strong enough for a 40... Uh, 14, you know, for 1440p. All right, so we're gonna run our cables here. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this is we have our front pan, our HD audio, that's gonna go right here. Oh, you know, the Wump Slayer there's got a point in, in chat there. Tom just needs to plug a port in the back of his neck. Oh, that's right, he's AI. 
Uh, Andrew, um, dude, uh, yeah, that we were uh, we're about to start our testing for Alan Wake Two. Um, yeah, dude, to say that the PC specs are demanding is an understatement. Uh, wow, I don't know if you guys saw that, um, but we could we'll, we'll get a link in chat if somebody could do that. But dude, the the like the min the minimum PC the CPU is a Ryzen 5 1600 or a Intel Core uh, 7600 uh, 76 se sorry 7700K, uh, and then the the lowest GPU that you can use is a 3060 and a 6600 XT, and that's for min spec 30 FPS on 1080p with low settings. That is like Ow. that is beefy. Ow. Yeah, I know that is beefy. And like, then it jumps up, then after that, it just jumps up one CPU level to a 3700X or a uh, uh, nine, uh, sorry, a 79, sorry, it may, might be an 8900, a 9900K or something like that. It, it, whatever 3700X is equivalently from, te it doesn't actually say. Uh, and yeah, then it's, it's normally a 9700K. Yeah, 9700K. And then, and then it says, and then it's like basically 3070 uh, all the, for 1080p still. Uh, and then you have to do to get to four to do 1440p. You need a 4070. It's crazy. Yeah. MSI US Angel. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Appreciate. I'm sorry, minus Angel. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Yeah. It's it's it's. But now I will tell you guys that game graphically is beautiful. But yeah, that is it, to, to say the PC specs are a little crazy. That's an understatement. So what we're doing right now, guys, is we're just routing our cables. So that's what we're working on right here. Just gonna route them real quick. Makes it really easy. Yeah, it might you might be right. It's it might be an 8700K. Sorry, I don't have my like my, my my what my direct conversion thing in front of me. Um, so too much information in my head. Sometimes I just have to purge stuff. There's only so much I can remember. Um, it's part of being old. generation only. Yeah, I pretty much almost think of <laughs> just the current generation at this point in time. I'll, I'll keep I'll keep 13th gen in my head for a while though. Come on, 13th gen, 14th gen, they're kind of one and the same. So org for min spec 1080p without ray tracing, you need a minimum of a it might yeah 3070, no 3060 and a 6600 XT. That's without ray tracing. Yeah, that's bonkers, and that's for 30 frames per second at 1080p. Okay, we got our, this is our RGB cable. We're gonna run that right up here. There we go. And then I think that's all ready for the thing. I think that's it, guys. I think I've got all the cables here. Blue Horse Studios dropping 20. Holy crud, 20 tier one from Blue Horse, dude. Jeez, buddy. Ron, thank you very much, man. And then Jim and I Ray dropping a gifted sub as well. Thank you very much for that, Ron. You did not have to do that. Thank you, Ron. Okay, here we go. Top down. What's up, Najia? Okay, so we're gonna get this. This is us just hooking stuff up now. There we go. Okay, USB-C and USB 3.2 in. We're gonna run these now. This is our front panel connectors. We got Legum Lagoon dropping their prime sub. Legum Lagoon, yeah, is it Legum Lagoon or Legum Lagoon? Let's go Diamondbacks. Thank you, Sergeant Nobody. Coming in there and talking about sports ball. Most of us are like, what, who? I don't know, I'm just that, you know, the only time of the year that I personally follow baseball is once you hit. Oh, I thought that was a cricket team. Games and World Series. I thought that was cricket team. I thought that was a cricket. Isn't the Diamondbacks a cricket team? Aren't we? Aren't we cricket over here? <laughs> You're like what? <laughs> wow! Did, how many people just left the stream? <laughs> <laughs> you are a cricket. <laughs> 
Uh, why do you, why does UPS run late when you're waiting for a pack? Dude, Igor, tell, preach, dude. You tell me about it, man. It's the worst. And like sometimes we like wait, we're waiting on it for a, um, for, a for like a filming session. And we're like, what? So you're hearing, hearing DFW, UPS is the goat. FedEx? No, they're not gonna show up until nine o'clock at night. You know, it's funny. It's like, it's literally, they're both like, they're both like 50-50 for me. I, I, I'm, I'm actually really good friends with all of my, with all of my delivery boys, uh, delivery individuals, because let's be honest, we get a lot of deliveries, um, but uh, they're, they're great. They know. Okay guys, so just so you guys know, what motherboard do you recommend for a 4090 13900K in the process of building at the moment? Uh, NISC Twist, uh, you got a number of options. Um, I would definitely, MSI, ASUS are kind of at my top end. Uh, ASRock's been popping up there quite a bit as well. So um, either one of those for a Z790 or Z690, uh, you're completely fine. If you're not gonna do any water cooling, you don't need to spend a mint. Um, so you could do something like a, B, like a, a Z790 Tomahawk. Uh, would be a great board. Um, the ASRock, uh, you could do any one of the ASRock ones. They're live ones, they're live mixer ones. If you wanna do something like purpley, that could be kinda cool. Um, and then you also have your edges and stuff like that, depending on what it is. But those are kinda my favorite. And then of course, you can never go wrong with a, a Strix board or even a Prime board if you really wanted to and save a little bit of money. So, uh, Amaras Serenity. Thank you very much for the tier one up. Okay, guys, here it is. Looking good, right? Looking clean. By the way, uh, 7,000 mega transfer RAM, uh, Zeistin. Oh, like, you know what? Actually, this is a good time. Let's go and talk about uh, what we're putting inside of the PC because I don't think everybody's seen this. And thank you very much. We have over 400 people here chilling right now. So I really appreciate all of you guys hanging out. Okay, so here's what we got in here. We got a processor. We got the Intel Core 7 uh, 14700K. Uh, with motherboard, we're using the MSI MPG Z790 Edge Ti Max. This is their brand new Z790 refresh board. For the graphics card, we're using the MSI RTX 4070 Ti Gaming X Trio uh, from the fine folks at MSI who are sponsoring this build. Uh, for SSDs, we're using the Viper VP4300 Elites, both a four terabyte and a one terabyte NVMe, so five terabytes of storage. Uh, Patriot Viper Elite 5, 7,000 mega transfer RAM. Uh, for case, Fantex P600S in white. Uh, for the cooler, we're using the Lee & Lee Galahad 2 LE, uh, LCD in white. And then for power supply, we're using the MSI MPG A850G um, for our PSU. So um, again, beautiful parts. Also something that when we, when we chose this, one of the things we've been working with, with Intel is a lot of times you'll actually see Intel builds where they're like, hey, look at this incredible build that we're giving away. And everybody's like, dude, that's like five grand, which I mean, everybody loves to win, but they're not necessarily builds that you can replicate. So one of the things we're doing that's different is we're showing you how to build it here on Roby Tech Live. And then we will actually have all of the artwork so you can download, print the vinyls and make this case yourself. They're fit for the P600S, you just download them. Uh, you can download them at a vinyl shop and then put them on and have this exact same build yourself. And the parts that we chose are not crazy parts. Again, uh, you could go a little bit, you could save some money going to a less a less large uh, NVMe drive. You could go with some little bit of slower RAM. If you have questions, you can just ask in the comments. We'll be happy to give you recommendations. Uh, and you could get this, you could probably get this down to like 2,500 bucks if you really, really wanted to and still have the custom case because we wanna make custom approachable. Because a lot of people can, you know, I think Zeistin, you would agree, a lot of people can build custom PCs, but making them unique and individual, that's something that kind of feels out of touch and that's what we're trying to work on. Yeah, so it is a beastly build, Blue uh, BlackRock, and all designed by Blue Horse Studios, who's chilling in chat right now. Yeah, and he's 100% he's correct. And just, uh, just a quick correction there when you re were reading your parts list, uh, Roby. Yes, of course. I know, I, know, I know some users only listen to the stream because I can see their no video. Oh. Symbol over in chat. Those are the Patriot 4300 Lite. Yes. Not yeah. Elite. yeah, the Lite. Sorry, my bad. They're the DRAMless versions with the other tech for uh, scanning. With, by the way, two petabytes. It's a, that's what their read write capability is before they fail. So, um, and it's actually faster than some of their their RAMless stuff. So, um, very very impressive NVMe drives, which is why we use them inside of there. They're not just we're not just doing it because they're cheap. We're actually showing you that they're actually good drives as well. So I know it's always one of those things that we always have to fight the power when we show something. It's like oh, it's not it's it's DRAMless or whatever it was. Don't worry guys. There's there's some pretty cool tech behind it uh, to make it better. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I've got one of those in my system as you well. You do? And you should have works. two, right? I thought you had uh, no, two. Just, just one just of one. those. Okay. Um, we, were, we were cheap, it, sorry. It, <laughs> it works flawlessly, and it is my OS drive. So. 
Like I said, lots of room, uh, lots of right read write capability. <clears throat> yeah, Turdog, they're very they, like no, that's on the their uh, their cash stuff. I got a whole write up on it. We're gonna do a short on it just to give you some more information. But I got a little bit of a briefing, and to be clear, don't quite quote me yet. I am learning some things about it, so Turdog. So don't quite quote me, but it's it's very impressive what they have. Uh, Rome, what's up, man? It's I'm doing well, dude. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. Okay, we're just getting this cleaned up, making it look nice. And I'm, I'm super stoked about these cable mod cables. They're so pretty. Uh, yes, you could absolutely use a 1440p. This is a 1440p optimized I mean, build for sure. He was, he was talking about the build that he's got over there on his list on YouTube. I was just getting ready to respond. Uh, that, oh. that is perfectly fine for 1440p. He's oh. got an uh, i5-13600K with a 4070. I feel like, guys, I feel like, you know, a little bit like, again, one thing it's like people have been asking me, it's like with all the stuff with Raptor Lake Refresh, Ruby, what's your thoughts? Like, again, is, you know, do you think it's a ripoff? I think it's a choice. Here's the deal. Like, I will not, like, again, it is definitely for a certain segment of people who want to upgrade. Like, if you're looking at, if you're on like a 70, like, especially if you're on like a 12700K, again, that was only 12 core. You can get, you can go to a 13, you can go to 14.7 with 20 cores, especially as a content creator, and get those additional e cores as well, which is actually pretty rad. And then again, if you're, if you, uh, you know, if you're looking at 11th gen, 10th gen, 9th gen, and you want to upgrade, again, costs are still. You can still do DDR4. You can still do DDR5. This is an option. It is not something that they're, you know, again, this is this is the way that I think about it. So I just want to be super clear in terms of what I'm, when I push this stuff, you know, we always want to be transparent in terms of how we talk about uh, this as well. But there's a lot of really good stuff with 14th gen, especially once their AI, their AI optimized tool comes down from XDU for the 14.7 and the 14.6 and things like APO. Uh, and uh, the mega testing stuff and the improvements they've made in Thread Director plus 7,000 mega transfer RAM as well. So it's, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Turdog, again, if you set it to, here's the deal. If you put it under, if you put it under, uh, you take off things like multi-core enhancement, all that sort of stuff, you can actually get it completely fine on a, th on a th uh, 360 millimeter AIO and doing some undervolting and some overclocking, which, you know, again, that was why undervolting was such an important part of the presentation for launch as well, so. Uh, TDK, TD Kid, they are slightly cooler, but yes, they are still warm. They are slightly more efficient. Again, this is a refresh and a refinement, so there is some improvements in that regard, but still, they are warm. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat something. I just wanna be honest, right? There are definitely people, and again, one thing that was also nice is that now 13th gen is cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna, misremember this but i know that maiden went from a 13700 to a 14700 i want to say his his delta differential was like eight degrees yeah it's actually it's actually so. there are quite a bit there there is more efficiency there uh which is one of the benefits if you're worried about cooling i think for small form factor 13th gen builds uh, sorry small form factor intel builds 14 14th gen will be a better option for you But yeah, it's, it's again, there's, I always wanna be clear, like the one thing, and I, what I really appreciate about Intel, AMD, all of these guys, when I get to do these sponsored streams is they let me be honest with you. That's why they continue to let me do paid streams like this is because I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a fan of tech. And I will tell you, if you're looking at it, here's the way to think about it, right? I will never tell you something is garbage. I will just tell you, hey, if you really wanted to do this, here's how you would use it, you know what I mean? Uh, you're you're going to have the same thing, Captain. You're looking at 14.6s, and you can cool a 14.7 with something like an MA824 and potentially a, a DH um, uh, Noctua, oh, what is it, the DH, the D30. Yeah, you could probably do it with a D30. Be Quiet just had their brand new coolers come out, so we haven't been able to chance to test them, but we do know the MA824 should have no problem air cooling in uh, 14.7, as long as you're smart about how much wattage you're going to put through the thing. Um, I have a number, so I have a number of cases that I haven't had a chance to look at. We build in as many as we can. I, ha I also have that case, the brand new one from Aerocool that we're going to try and get in there. Uh, we have obviously we're doing the Y70 uh, on uh, we're doing the Y70 on Sunday. Uh, we've got new cases from uh, K uh, um, 
Cooler Master with their cube. So guys, we got, we're trying, we got a lot of cases. So we'll eventually we'll probably get to them. Yeah, so the Dark Rock Elite, I'm actually pretty excited about. We, uh, we just got ours in. We got a couple sponsored stream. We're gonna be giving away a custom um, Be Quiet Christmas build um, or holiday build uh, coming up in December. So we're gonna be partnering with them with that. And then we're also gonna be doing a Be Quiet build in the month of November. So yeah, for sure. So attack of the cases, we did see some performance degradation on the 4070 Ti, so that, but again, you can disable the screen when gaming. That is completely within, so if you're worried about it, you can disable the screen when you get, it is a 4K screen. So there is some slight, some slight <clears throat> uh, performance hit because of that. But yes, you can just turn off the screen. You just Windows P and stop duplicate. It's very, very easy to turn off the screen. So, all okay. right. I think this looks good. What do you guys think? It looks clean, right? Pretty simple, straightforward. I think we can go to our next part, which is uh, AIO. AI, AIO. Oh, you know what? We should go ahead and do this. Let's get this routed since we got it right here. So that's more like AI, AI, wait. Yeah. <laughs> AI, AI, wait. <laughs> You're teasing us, Roby. It's one of those ones that I can forget sometimes if I don't do it right now. So what we're doing right now is we're just plugging in our Lee and Lee control fan. Feel free to ask away there, the machine. Yeah, we got, this is this is why I love having them, uh, this is why we have our, our techs on the uh, channel so that way they can catch stuff while I'm focusing. So it's it's a very, it's very much appreciated. And by the way, for those who are asking, I, I'm, I'm not telling you because there's almost 500 people here now. Um, I'm sorry about my earpiece. I was putting it in the wrong ear and that's why it kept falling out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, learn to, learn to, learn to do it right. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna get this popped in real quick. Uh, I guess we'll do it right here. Look at look at Blondie over there with all the laughing cat emojis just for you. Oh, Blondie, you're so nice. And we know that's not true because she likes to shoot her own teammates. Ugh, okay, oh, here we go with the friendly fire jokes again. <laughs> it never gets old. The wrong ear hole. All right, here we go. So we got this. Okay, we'll go ahead and zip that right there. Blade, okay, so you're you're not doing the surgery, Blade of Ice. You are getting surgery. I was just making sure. Like, I did, little did we know that Blade of Ice is literally a, a, a neurosurgeon, you know? You never know. You never know here. Uh, IRE Wolfman, thank you very much. I'm um, still waiting on a GPU since 2019. 500 euros, my cap. 7,700 XT or 6,750, better value. Uh, 7,700. I mean, the thing is, there's a lot of stuff that comes out of that. And the other two is that that will refine more. I feel like the 6,750 is kind of at the top end of its performance. I feel like there will be more coming out of the 7,700. That would be my bet. Uh, Zeist didn't agree, disagree. I'm okay either way. I, I would take the 7700 over yeah. the 6750. Sorry for just seeing that IRE Wolfman. Okay, so the machine's question for you there, Roby, was what do you think about the RTX 4060? I am currently using an RX 5500 non-X. Um, so here's my thing. Love, love the 4060. We've done a number of things on it. Again, it's pricey for what you get. If you are very, if you're anti AMD, then it's a perfectly fine choice. Um, if you could, the 7600, uh, sorry, yeah, the the 7600, the RX 7600 is a great alternative, uh, less expensive, and dude, uh, using uh, here's the thing, like here's a Intel. You know, it's funny we're an Intel stream. XESS works beautifully with AMD cards. In fact, sometime outperforming FSR. Uh, in games like Cyberpunk and stuff like that. So you can still get the ray tracing. We did ray tracing ultra with a 7600. You remember this, Zeistin? Dude, we were doing 1080p ultra ray tracing on Cyberpunk 2077 at 70 frames per second using XESS. You and know- that was, that was post patch. And that was, so. yeah, it was, so I'm just saying you could, there's another option there for you if you wanna, if you wanted to look at that. 
Um, I, you know what, I need it. So, Kavion, I'm actually getting a whole education on Starfield uh, from our man, um, uh, from our man, De Poets. Um, I actually, it's funny, I've, I've given that game a lot of my money and have never played it. Um, I got scared because I thought that ship deaths were permanent and I didn't want to lose my ships. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, so anyway, that's my that's my answer to that question. If if you could, for, I have no issue with the forty sixty. I love it. You can build a, thou, a beautiful thousand dollar build with the forty sixty as well. Yes, XESS works on AMD. XESS is like FSR. It works on everything. And actually, I've been very impressed with Intel's technology. It's crazy. So yeah. Wait, okay, now we actually have this. Now we can do the AIO, guys. Cable management actually looks pretty good here. No, it's not AIO, AIO wait. Guys, we're almost done with the, uh, we're almost done with the AIO, uh, sorry, the uh, YouTube like challenge. All right, here we go. Beautiful AIO time. I guess we got to play this song again. Justin Roby has a show. AIO. And on that show, he builds PCs. AIO. Come on, dance with me, guys. With the dad joke here and, and a zip tie there. there. RGB, RGB, RGB and I'm Blondie but geeky. Who shoots you in the head? Has a show. AIO. I hope you guys are dancing to that. It's, it's, it's like, that's like straight. There's going to be an album later. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Any news about the RTX? No, uh, I'm, I, I, from the rumors I'm hearing, and again, they are rumors, so take them with a grain of salt. Uh, we're looking at a super generation first before 50 series, or a TI generation, or but it won't be what everybody thinks it'll be. So we're gonna get TI supers. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. They have their own one too. Okay, yeah, you can switch it. That's fine. If yeah, Garrett, grab Fury if you want. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna fight you. And if you are gonna fight them, it's gotta be on camera. Oh, he was. He, so he was like, he's. We're we're preparing for another unannounced case that's coming out, and he's he's doing the showcase building it right now, and he's like, he's like, can we use Fury? And I'm like, yes, we can use Fury. He wanted to use Fury over G Skill because of the RGB control. Honestly, been very impressed with Kingston Fury's RGB control stuff. So. That's always, a, that's always the sign that something is good is when you have your tech, you know, director coming in and being like, hey, can we change this? And like, okay, yeah. Any news on my motivation to get off my butt and rebuild my PC? Uh, TD Kid, uh, new, this just in, you're doing it tomorrow. IQ versus Uni versus Fantex. Okay, so here's the deal. This is a great con, this is a great question. When I talk about IQ, IQ and we have an IQ, we have an IQ build coming up. We're going to be doing it in the Y70 build, so you guys will be able to see that. If you want to see some more information about that, um, you guys can tune in for that. IQ is IQ Link is different than D30s and Lee and Lee. IQ Link is a system, right? Like again, it changes. It it does change the paradigm in terms of how you look at how everything connects. It is expensive. It is not cheap. I think Zeisen Org, you would agree with this. It is not cheap. Um, but it makes building a PC way easier. The only thing you gotta think about with that is just in terms of how many cables you need. Hey, Falcon Northwest is here, dude, what? Dude, Kelt is hanging out, we got Blue Horse in the house. So it's always good to have Kelt here. Um, if I had to choose D30s, if you're gonna go D30s over Lee and Lee, I, I would say I like both of them. I think they're both solid options. D30s are more expensive, you're gonna get better airflow. So if airflow is important, I would say D30s. If you are into performance and just looks and RGB, then I think Lee and Lee. I think they all have a space. Yeah, I look. I was actually looking the other day at uh, what it would cost me to fully rekit my my build with Link fans, and that's a new AIO included. But and it's like seven hundred bucks. It is not. It is not cheap at all. And that was dropping down to just ten fans instead of the thirteen I have now. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is not a. Uh, it is not a cheap premise at all. Okay, so we have this cable that goes in there. This goes right here. Uh, 
and then this goes into here. What is this other? I have another cable here, and I'm like, what is that cable for? The mystery cable. So you've got, that's the infinity. What is the other cable? What is that one? What is that cable? That will be nothing. Okay, okay, cool. I, I think it's for reverse compatibility for older stuff. Okay. But for this tool, it's Okay, there's some, uh, if you look, if you want to, in the other room, um, there's brand new Dominator if you want to try that. It's in the box in there. You want to use Dominator. Oh. Okay. I think it's going to Okay, okay. Just giving you options. All right, okay guys, so we're gonna, let's get this built in um, and get this mounted, because that's what you guys want to see. <laughs> what? Nice Falcon Northwest, nice. What did he say? He said that's the 220 volt power for RV hookups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, wow, I didn't know they had those anymore. <laughs> that sounds like, thank you very much, Kelt. Thanks for making that. Uh, the machine, uh, Intel 14th gen versus Intel 13th gen. 14th gen is literally just a refresh of 13th gen. Uh, so it depends on what you like. If you are, if you're on 13th gen, there, I, there's very little to re to upgrade to, very little reason to upgrade to 14th gen. If you are on 12th gen, there could be any reason. And the only two is, like I said, there is some efficiency in terms of heat, and some tools that are unique to 14th gen. But it just depends on what you need. It will make it easier if you want to get the most power out of your for, out of your Intel CPU. 14th gen does make that easier. So, but you must you you know I just got that message. So you you must see the message before I did. Boiler up, go Purdue! Wow. Okay, people are into sports ball today on the show. I mean, lots of sports ball people today. Thank you all, you sports ball people. I just got taller. Wow. Oh, one thing I love, have you seen this? I don't know if you've seen this, Eisten, but one of the things I love, check this out about the Lee and Lee coolers. Look at the angled bracket. So doing this in the back is a whole lot easier because the AIO has angled brackets, which is actually pretty cool. That is a nice touch. Uh, so you don't have it like coming straight down. Dead Justice asks, how did you start with PC building? You know, believe it or not, here's the deal, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you through a journey. Why not? We're gonna have fun. Um, you are very welcome, Bootstrap. Um, and you're, I'm glad you enjoyed the review. We try very hard to make them entertaining and uh, informative without uh, miring them in too much detail that most people probably don't care about. Uh, and, but still a lot of detail, like in terms of what you need to build and how they compete thermally against other cases like them. Um, so how did I get into PC building? Uh, believe it or not, uh, it all because, because of a gentleman named Dom Humphreys. I used to be a hardcore pre-built owner and actually I only owned Alienwares, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, and uh, finally I was like into, I was gonna do, I was getting ready, I was shopping and my friend Don saw me shopping for my PC and he was like, you know, you should really build one as much as you love Lego and everything else. You should uh, you should get into this, and so uh, he's like, I'll I'll be your I'll be your your Jedi master. You'll be my Padawan, and we build we'll build it uh, right there at Microsoft. And so he helped me go to PC Part Picker. We ordered all the parts. It was an all NZXT build, um, and uh, and NZXT and Razer was actually NZXT's Razer case, um, and we built my first system. It was a I think it was a nine, it might've been a 99. We actually have it in the other room. We're actually gonna show it here uh, on one of my anniversaries. We actually have my first PC that I built in the other room. And so we got it built and I was like, dude, this is crazy easy. This is crazy easy. I was like, so then what happened was, is I was uh, doing a bunch of, um, a bunch of what's called Extra Life. And if you don't know, Extra Life is play games, heal kids. Uh, it's a kids charity, uh, kids cancer charity. Um, and it was a passion of mine that uh, I ran during Xbox. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if, uh, you know, if I talk to Papa Phil, and if you don't know who Phil, Papa Phil is, that's Phil Spencer. And I was like, hey man, really into this PC building thing. 
do you think you might be able to talk to some folks about getting me some hardware? He's like, yeah, let me hook it up. So Corsair uh, and AMD uh, sponsored the first one, sent me a bunch of PC hardware. Um, I had only built one PC in my life. Uh, and what we did is uh, between, what, 11 p.m. and like three in the morning, we built three PCs. And so I did that for a number of years and the PCs were all custom, custom decal. They were beautiful guys. And actually one of them is actually at McLaren headquarters. And if you look up Roby Tech McLaren, one of those PCs is actually, uh, was bought by McLaren. So it was, my, it was a custom water cooled one. I basically just got into it. So anyway, at that point in time, um, Microsoft owned Mixer, lost sound. Do you have, do you guys still, can you hear me still Zeissen? I, I can, but I don't have, stream uh, okay. stream audio on. Oh, okay, so anyway. Okay, I hear you, okay, good. Okay, so anyway, uh, it was running Mixer at the time and they were like, hey, Roby, we wanna do like a, we were like, we're trying to do a bunch of original programming, would you be down to host a show that was just around PC building? Um, and so it was, it was, I was, this was after it was, went from Beam to Mixer. And so uh, I was like, yeah, no, cool, that'd be cool. And so they, uh, they said, we have a sponsor, Newegg, um, we, and which is, happens to be the sponsor for today's stream, which is rad. Um, and they're like, would you, uh, we'll send you a PC worth of parts every month. You build it on a show called Power Built. I built it with, a, with, a, with an amazing uh, woman named uh, Brenna, Duff, Brenna Duffett. She was, she was rad. Um, and so we built a PC every month. Um, and then Mixer paid for Ninja and didn't have any money for that anymore. And uh, Newegg was like, you know what, Roby, you're pretty good at this streaming thing. What if you just did this on your own? And so that's how Roby Tech was born. And then from there, it, we grew to 100,000 subscribers in less than a year. Um, you know, literally had thousands and thousands of people watch us build the PCs. And that's, I left my job making video games and literally started doing this. And that was, that was my story. So yeah, that's how it happened. And Blondie actually has one of the pilot PCs and uh, I, we gave some stuff out with Windows Central and a bunch of stuff like that. So yeah. So yeah, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a fun, it was a fun journey getting here and I'm very lucky to get to do it. Yeah, we're building a white, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's my story. Hopefully you learned something and you enjoyed story time. Story time with Roby Tech. <clears throat> okay, getting this put down now. I worked for Microsoft Game Studios. So I worked on Halo, Fable, Forza. Um, I worked on um, Age of Empires. Um, I've been basically, I, I was a game developer, ran a studio for Microsoft um, and uh, all that sort of stuff. I worked at Xbox. I, if, you go to my, if you go to Xbox and you search up Roby One, I think it's Roby One still, you will see I have every launch badge. So yeah, I actually have worked at Xbox for 20 years before I did this. And I worked on, uh, I've worked on every, almost every major, I've launched every console. Um, and I left on the, my 20th anniversary is when I left, I was the director of player voice on Halo Infinite. And that was my last, that was my last one. That was my last game. So yeah, so that's, that's how I got into this. And I am very lucky and I am blessed and I am grateful that you guys come and tune in and watch as much as you do. And I never take it for granted and will continue to never take it for granted because I can't do this without you. So, and your, your, your subs and all that stuff, uh, show me that you guys enjoy it. So, and I will, I will continue to make family friendly content and a safe place and a safe community for you guys to ask whatever questions you want. Nobody judges, everybody's allowed an opinion. Um, and uh, I think we do a good job of that. I think the fact that I have Org and Zeiston and uh, Bmock who sometimes disagree with me. Bmock has called me and yelled at me. You know what I mean? I, I, am, I never pretend I know everything and I'm all about people being able to make mistakes. I mean, you guys can, you guys can ask basically anything you want as long as you keep it family friendly. Yep. And we will, I, I will argue and sometimes we're right and sometimes we're wrong. Oh, thanks, John. I appreciate it. but I'm nowhere near as cool as my dad. So yeah, and I know, and I, I'm nowhere near as cool as people like, uh, I'm nowhere near as cool as people like uh, the uh, my fine friend Kelt over at Falcon, that guy's way cooler than me. Um, Ron at Blue Horse Studios is cooler than me. There's lots of people cooler than me who are just as talented and just as dedicated and just as, and want to do just as much as I do. So I'm lucky.
Uh, ASV, not anymore. I mean, I did it for 20 years. I, I have lots of games to my name. Uh, if you look at Moby Games, you can see all of the games I worked on, plus so many more I help with. Launching every console. I have great relationships still with Phil and Aaron Greenberg and Mike Yabara and all of those, you know, tons of people who work all over the place. That's why it's, it's so good to cool. Like uh, on Thursday, you guys are gonna see us, we're building a PC with uh, for our History Untold. I actually saw that game when it first got it, when it first came in as a prototype game at Microsoft with some of my friends. Uh, I built PCs for Alan Rick, uh, uh, sorry, Alan Hartman, who was head, I mean, like we built his PC live here on the stream. He's the head of Forza. Um, you know, uh, Aaron Greenberg's family has like six of my PCs. Um, uh, Phil doesn't because uh, he has, Phil has a Falcon Northwest actually, um, given to him from Lisa Sue. Um, There we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I, dude, trust me, I, I can't wait for Horizon 6. I love the Forza Horizon series. I mean, no, no offense to Alan and the team and, uh, you know, I also built him for, like, you know, obviously Chris Sasaki, who's a really good friend of mine as well. Um, love Forza, but dude, my jam is Forza Horizon 3. I'm in Forza Horizon series for sure. I almost left Halo to go work on that game because I love Forza Horizon. <clears throat> oh, crazy, dude. I'm, you're not wrong. Crimson Sky is another absolutely amazing game. Uh, so somebody can somebody get the link? Oh, there you go. There's the link to the WoW stick right there. Love that WoW stick. Okay, so hey, we're gonna go ahead. Touch off, touch off topic real fast, but one of your one of your uh, server members here who's looking at going to DreamHack, looking at bringing their own PC possibly instead of, instead of a laptop, what kind of foam do you use in your Pelican case? I use the foam that came with the Pelican. So I came with the, the stuff that actually came with Pelican. Uh, yes, I, uh, Charvel, I worked and was part of the design team who made multiplayer on Rise Son of Rome. So I was the multiplayer producer on Rise. Um, and did a lot of the design stuff for that game too. Love that game. Uh, when we were talking about a sequel and then we'll get back to, sorry, Zeissen's question, my bad. Um, we were gonna do Japan it was gonna be the sequel, but it didn't sell well enough. Uh, yeah, so I used the, I used the, the stock foam that comes with, um, that came with it. I see, and I thought so, but before I, before I told them that I wanted to, make sure I wasn't wrong. They were they were looking at uh, anti-static foam and all that fun stuff. And no, 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 you don't need anything like that. Like that that's overkill. Yeah, yeah. So. Thoughts on, thoughts on, uh, thoughts on Microsoft acquiring Activision. Um, I think it's so funny that most of the Activision people like Mike Ybarra already worked for, used to work for Microsoft. And to be honest, I think that I'm, I'm actually happy. I think that Phil is much better a much better guide for that stu for that company than Bobby Kopnik. Um, and I'm excited to see what they do. I think the concessions that they made to make the CMA um, and uh, the other um, world concerners about cloud gaming and giving rights to Ubisoft and stuff like that were a sign of how seriously they take this acquisition. And I think it'll be good for them. That's what I think. And I don't think PlayStation will suffer because of it. I think PlayStation will prosper as will anybody else, right? I just didn't like the way the whole trial thing happened. It was kind of lame. Um, and I feel like a lot of dirty laundry was aired by both companies that would have been better to be private. So, yeah. Oh, IDK, don't worry. We got lot, plenty more 14th gen builds coming out. And more giveaways too. We build all PCs here. We are PC agnostic, we like them all. But this one, all about Intel, very happy. Got to be a part of their 14th gen launch um, and just you know excited to get to build with them stuff again. I'm, I never, I don't just, I don't, I'm not one of somebody who just like poops on tech. I like, there's a reason and there's a place and there's people who want or this stuff can work better for. And I think the 14.7 and the 14.9 definitely have a place uh, in the tech stack. <clears throat> and uh, you know, so it just depends. And it's and it's 
tech is very personal in terms of what is best for a user is best, you know, may not be best for everybody. And I feel like a one size fits all strategy for how you review and talk about that stuff is, is a little short sighted sometimes. So I think plenty of people are going to be very happy when they get there, when they build their 14th gen PC or, uh, or anything else, right? It's whatever makes you happy. What's the best CPU for gaming 3D video editing? The best CPU, it, 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 that is a, that's, that's a little bit of a, a tough one because it can very much depend on the program because certain programs definitely favor one CPU over another, right? Um, yeah. Uh, Fable speculation, what do you say, Patrick? Yeah, for instance, uh, I wonder if the i3, i14 generation would, or yes, in some cases, yes, the 14.7 will, we can, we can look at it, IDK, I don't know off the top of my head. I think Microsoft is going to a, uh, I think Microsoft, and I mean, you could look at that from the earnings call today, cloud is the future for Microsoft. And I think you see that uh, with the, like with what we just saw from the earnings call today about how Azure did and how they beat things on Wall Street. It's funny, for gaming, it's such an interesting thing, though, because for the most part, if you're playing 1440p or 1080p, I'm sorry, if you're not doing 1080p or 1440p, you know, if you're like a 1440p guy, the CPU you use is gonna matter a whole lot less because CPUs start to matter the far less, the higher you go up in resolution. So when you say something like, will it outperform an i9? That can depend because the other thing too is, if you can, you if you use APO and other tools um, that you get because of 14th gen, then yes, you could see that. But that's extra. That's not. That's not on. You know. So uh, it's a little bit of a stack question. Okay, there we go, guys. Build's looking nice, clean. We have our AIO installed. We can move on, boys and girls. Ugh. Corn Freak, I think they're different. I mean, the one thing I love about PC is that PC kind of gets everything. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like I feel like you see that strategy with how Xbox has been with games coming out for PC. I, I definitely think the Starfield experience on PC is better than it is on console. I would agree that that's with pretty much almost every one of them, right? Especially if you're somebody who does high-end PCs like I do. Um, I You know, but again, I think that, you know, what Xbox makes is game appro games approachable, right? And so everybody can go in there. What is better based on price to performance, a 4070 or a 3080 Ti? <laughs> Here's the deal. I would go with a 4070 for the simple fact that you, uh, you, don't, have, you don't have the power. You, you actually get a more efficient and more power efficient uh, P, uh, GPU, less transient power spikes. Um, uh, with 40 series, you do get the additional of DLSS 3 and frame generation, which is getting better. Um, and uh, the uh, also you get FSR, uh, sorry, uh, uh, RSR as well. So it, even though you get RSR for all of them, you are getting more out of uh, the 40 series over the 3080. That would be my, that would be my two cents. We do have two chippies, we do. We got baby chippy and big chippy. So yes, there's always chippy. They're all part of my family here. Yeah. I need to play nice with Sarah at DreamHack. <laughs> she doesn't have, you just didn't have a chippy. Okay, so we got all that stuff. Here's how our build looks, guys. Top down. Looking nice and clean. Okay, so I think, I think now what we do, I think just for fun, let's throw custom cables in here. I feel like custom cables, and then we'll put our GPU in and go from there. But I, I think this build looks really good. Um, nice and clean. But I'm excited about these custom cables, guys. And again, huge shout out to Cable Mod for hooking us up. I don't know if Chip, I don't know what Chippy's dressing up for Halloween. I don't know if Sarah, Sarah a lot of time watches the show, but she usually watches it afterwards. Oh, by the way, guys, we do have some, check these out. We got some custom, uh, some custom washers and stuff. I don't think we'll be using the washers, but we will potentially, I think we'll go ahead and throw our, throw our blue in here for the, uh, for this stuff.
just for fun. Making it look pretty. I do not work. What was this question? He asked if I had a bunny suit, man. <laughs> what is that? Why that? What? What? What about? What about Zeist and screams? I probably have a bunny suit. It's an old Intel doll. Oh. You know the clean room suits? Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh, I like the blue. I think the blue looks good. A little bit of added color there. Um, somebody asked, how do I enter the giveaway? Guys, there's a link that we have coming up quite a bit. It's also down in the description as well um, if you want to enter to win. Yeah, that blue, is, that blue is a nice pop. Yeah, it has a nice, like the little blue has a nice little pop to it, right? Yeah. I might need to order me some of those in purple for my 5000 d We got purple coming for the, uh, we got purple coming for the Halloween build. And by the way, huge shout out to everybody who was in Discord chat. Help me choose the cables for that. Who doesn't want to blow up Baymax suit, dude? That's everybody's dream. I don't think I should put this one in yet. I'm going to take these. I don't two. know, because I, I think if they don't want one, I don't want to know them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you're. I don't think you're looking at it's Cyber Relius. I don't think you're looking at any announcements until next year, for that stuff. If you are, if you're down to wait, CES is usually around the time when you see all that stuff. You might start seeing some semi-credible leaks around November, December, but it'll yeah. probably be first part of next year. If you look at trends, and if you follow, if you follow the the. Certain leakers, you know, some of them, you know, are a little more reputable than others. So data mining is a thing. Yeah, you can definitely tell when companies, I mean, when Intel probably, I mean, sorry, new, uh, NVIDIA starts, stops caring because they're close enough to the announce that, the, you know, they're letting less, more and more stuff is getting out about mm -hmm. them. That's not same now. Thing. Same thing goes for the other team. Yep. I'm excited to see what Battle Mage, too. It's the P600S. There we go. Okay, let's get our other things in. By the way, guys, huge thank you for all of the subs helping me get to Partner Plus. You guys are amazing. It's a journey we'll have to do together, and you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for that. You, you might want to check your, you might want to see if your fans need cleaning and some other things like that. Are you going to use these normal screws on the GPU? Because I found thumb screws are a real pain to remove with how tight the GPU is to the screw area. No, I'm going to use the regular ones because they're, because getting your hand in there is too hard. So I'm just gonna use these for the, around it. And, and dope as well. Roby had mentioned, you know, maybe cleaning the fans and whatnot, but you may wanna double check your thermal paste application since you said you did change paste. If you don't get the tension just right on those GPU dies, there oh, will be they can they spike. can be super touchy. Okay, let's go to side view. We're just gonna put the other blue. We're just starting to put all the accoutrements. I love that word, accoutrements. We're putting all the accoutrements on now. I think these washers, these cable mod washers, are they for underneath the motherboard screws? Like, I never knew what they were for. Does anybody know? Not a clue. Advanced AI washers, anodized AI washers. That's what this says. Yeah, you should play around with it. Thank you, Iron Master. I'm excited for whoever wins it. Oh, there we go. These are, I think the blue is gonna be a nice pop. I was, does anybody know, can somebody look up? 
what the cable mod washers, like where, where they get used. You may have seen them in the, like, I don't know if anybody's seen them. How are we doing likes on YouTube? I'm assuming we're close to done. We gotta be. We're about to crest 500 people here. 229, come on guys, let's get those likes. Dude, there's 500 people here. Looks like, looks like for cable mods, general store listing, they're just general use. So if you wanna put them at like fan mounting points or other points, so you're gonna have a little bit of a gap, just enough for a little extra color pop. Oh, okay. I don't know, I just am curious if like you put them underneath the MOBO, you know where the MOBO tight points are, just getting a little blue down there would look good. They go on fans and radiators. Okay, Blue Arts, can you put them on MOBO? Oh, uh, what is a parts list? Divine Ask, what's the parts list? Let's go through it real quick. Here's a parts list right here, gentlemen. Here it is right here. We got the uh, uh, Intel Core 7 14700K, the MSI MPG Z790 Edge TI Max Wi-Fi, MSI RTX 4070 Ti Gaming X Trio in black. We got Patriot Viper VP4300 Lite, a four terabyte game drive and a one terabyte, MV, uh, one terabyte OS drive. Uh, we got Viper Elite 5 7000 mega transfer RAM at CL38. A Fantex P600S White designed by good old Blue Horse Studios, and then we have the Lee and Lee Galahad 2 LCD in white, and then the MSI MPG A850 uh, PSU. So that is the parts going into this beautiful build. And we're just kind of working on the, uh, we're doing the accoutrements right now, just adding the, the little pops of color and stuff like that one. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah. And Blue Horse says possibly if the M3 screws are long enough. Yeah, they may not be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if I can get a, like a, maybe here at the side and stuff like. Let's, let's give them, a, let's give them a go. Let's, let's have some fun, bottom, guys. Yeah, that bottom right corner is probably your best bet. Yeah, right here would also be pretty good. So maybe just up here, like a little bit along the sides. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can do here. It may not work, but it's worth a go. They're pretty thick. And it's well, and it's diameter as well as long as they're not wide enough to touch anything else on the board. Yeah, they're pretty wide though. That's the thing. Yeah. But but the, the spot for these are actually pretty thin. I mean, pretty. They actually have that big roll. I think they're exactly the right length. The answer is no. <laughs> Negative. They do not work there. And Blondie says we're at nine subs to go. Nine subs to go. Or li likes to go, sorry. Nine I guess you could probably, you could put them on like, like here if you wanted to have like blue up, up on the on the fans here, you know what I mean? If the fans are like, if the screws are long enough here. It's like if you wanted to, I wanted to see what that, like what that looks like. Hey, Falcon Northwest leaving. Thank you very much, man. He's like, this is gonna take forever. Roby's tinkering. I'm out of here. Almost like he's seen this before. Yeah, it's like he seems like he knows anything about this. Get cowbell. I mean, you could do something like that. I don't know if the little bit of blue adds to it. It's a lot of work for just a little bit of blue. That is a lot of work for a tiny pop. <laughs> <laughs> STX3D, thank you very much for the sub. Especially with thinking about it after the AIO is mounted. Yeah. Okay, people are saying, what if we just did them on the front? Uh, I think maybe we, here, let's try. Let's just do it, just for fun. I promise we'll, we'll be quick. As quick as we can. Oh, that's, I've heard this before. That's why I said as quick as we can. Chat's liking it. I'm gonna do it for chat. 
This is this is a build for somebody who's gonna get in this. These are like little, we're showing off a little cable model of here. Ron's like, looking at Ron's, up, Ron's, up, Ron's, up, no, go ahead. Ron's like, we're done. We're never working with Robitech again. That guy tinkers too much. I've actually been looking at possibly ordering myself a set of custom cables from Cable Mod here lately. Yeah, oh, dude. There are configurators a lot of fun. It can be overwhelming yeah. sometimes, though, because like I was like, uh, tyranny of choice. Their configurator is great, and on top of that, full custom PSU cables are yeah. not that expensive over there. I mean, 200 bucks is a lot to pay for cables. So, Depending on which ones you do. I, I know whenever I was looking at it, it was dual EPS, ATX, and dual 8 pen, and it was like 120. Okay, so you, yeah, my, I, I think I added more combs and some other stuff. Yeah. It also has pre selected lengths if you pick the case, if it's in the configurator. Yeah, well, my 5000D doesn't exist in their configurator for some odd reason. Nobody buys those cases anymore. Yeah, yeah. That does look really good, actually. A little bit of blue. I agree. I'm glad we're taking a little bit of time. We do have a 3000D build coming out, guys. Which is like a, that was like not, it was like, it was a, kind of a surprise launch from, but I was like, I called them, I was like, hey, I want to do it. And they were like, okay, we'll send you one. Putting in our blue, our little blue fan things just to make it look pretty. Adding a little pop of color just for fun. Igor and everybody's like, this is how we get, this is how we get four hour builds. Oh no, I thought that was custom looping. Yeah, dude, those, dude, that was like, I was tired after that build. <laughs> I was, you were tired halfway through that. Build. I was like, oh man, that was such a <laughs> mental, that was such a mental hit. I was like, uh, You're absolutely correct there, Riddick. The best builds are custom builds, even if you're biased. Uh, Roby, can you slide the build to the right a bit? You're yeah. up behind the picture-in-picture. Picture. I moved the picture-in-picture picture last time, and now it's in the way. Remember? I was like, everybody just move it up there, and so I did, and now I'm like, oh, now it's blocking something again. Now the screw is being, see this is this is how it turns into four hour builds. It's like, it doesn't quite hit the hole. Just one thread too short, oh. All the other ones work. Let's see if we can figure out what's yeah, going on. Yeah, All right, so it's right there. That was fine, it was like, it went in no problem, okay. The best yes. is when you need to redo your cable management after you've already done it because the back panel won't close. And yeah. And we were out cables. Yeah, that is brutal. That is like a, that is a, that is a whole nother, like, that's like a whole nother ball game right there. You're like, no. That's where the stuff and shove comes in. Dude, that doesn't always work. What is going on here? Come on, don't do this to me. Everything else was going so well. Okay, I'm gonna do the only thing I know how to do, which is actually gonna help it. Just go. Okay, sorry you guys can't see this. I'm gonna go to side view. I wanna make sure you guys can see. We got the epoch cam coming up here pretty soon so i'll be able to have like more nice camera angles here 
Still missed the roamer. There we go. Okay, got it in. And you might as well just leave it there to do the rest of them too. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like this. <laughs> Or do you just want to undo the AIO from the top of the case? Look at you thinking. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> I don't know. I've already committed to this. I'm like, can I finish it this way? That's the question. Can I finish you it this way? You didn't know you were doing an inverted build on the stream today, did you? Huh? Oh, cool. Case is... I'm assuming around 11 or 12. I mean, we could probably do a little bit later if you wanted to. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think it'll be right. Okay, like right, that's fine. Cool, thank you. No, I just put, I'm putting on a little blue thing. Yeah. But this one is being annoying. All the other ones went in, but this one's not being that way. This would have been way easier if I did it before the AIO, but I thought I was like, oh yeah, I got these, so I wanted to use them. There it goes. Nope, that's not it. See, if I was thinking like Org was saying, is like I should have just done it the right way, but now I can't quite find the screw hole for this right there, right? Oh yeah, it's right in the middle, okay. We're gonna get this, guys. It's gonna happen, and then we'll have all the... So I had to put the... Uh, on the uh, H6. Oh, oh, okay. That reminds me. Oh, you just reminded me I gotta hook this up. Good luck with that. Wait, um, the reason being is on the side without the hose in. It's like a uh, UPC code. Oh. So it's a big white sticker. So I turned it around so it works. Okay. Alright, okay, there we go, guys. I realized I had forgot to hook up the. Uh, I'm gonna try a little bit. This one might just be too thick. Try a different washer. Gosh darn it, come. You gripped. Guess I'll do that one last. Let's do the next one. Next. I'm going to do the other one. Hopefully this one goes better. Oh, you know what? This actually might make it easier because sometimes I'm doing this one. Next. That one's in. We'll say this does make the screw holes just like that much. Come undone. Oh no, did all these come undone? No. Just those are being kind of a pain in the butt there. All those went in so easily. Why are these other ones being a pain? See what happens when you get random ideas? I know. It's like I wanted to do something random and nice and then. It's like, no, let's make it painful for you.
Igor says, is there any chance that, that screw is just a little shorter than the others? Maybe. And just think, Roby could put on the shorter fan screws and put them on the back of the front fans too. But, you know, up to him. On the back of the front fans? Oh, you mean like screw them into there? I don't think, will it work? I don't think that would work, would it? Earworm achieved. Why does those go in so easily? It's like, those are like, hey, we're just gonna go in really easily. But these, nope. They're like, no, they're not gonna go in easily. They wanted to lead you to believe that it was going to be an easy process. Yep, and it's like I can't even find how to get it in. It's it, and like I, I can't I can't not do it. Is one side more rounded than the other so it fits in the hole better? I mean, I'm just making sure that this does, I mean, they do screw in, like no problem with the things. You know what I mean? I'm like, why is this not working? And it, it's like, the funny thing is, is like the screws aren't, they're not that, they don't create that much height. So that's the part that's so weird. try where is it Excalibur for the leverage yep doesn't seem to be doing anything this is annoying because it's like it's the last two screws maybe, maybe try taking a couple just a couple of the screws from your front panel fans to see if maybe one of them's a thread or two longer because you're not worried about the length. The front panel fans, the front panel fans are, are all- Are they, are they only short screws? Yeah, they're only short screws. I know you got a box of screws around there somewhere. Yeah, I know, but I'm just worried. Yeah, I, I, I don't know <laughs> if I have a silver one. Uh, because they're silver. And I think if I did black, they definitely have longer screws, but they're way longer. And yeah, you're ideally probably needing like two threads. Yep, it's these, like this would be, like this is the perfect size screw right here. Is that a black one? Yeah, but I could potentially. Put that all the way in the back by the EPS so it can't even see it? Yeah, I could put it back here. But I don't know if that's gonna help, right? And it pops up a little. But yeah, that's like the perfect length. And it's just two threads longer. So just to show you guys, here's the two. It's actually quite a, it's like, it's like a little bit, it's like quite a bit longer. It's behind your picture in picture. Oh, great. That was useful. There you go. You, okay, you actually, right there at the very end, it slid yeah, over just far enough. There you go. Right, yeah, just like that. See? It's just that much longer. Oh, look, Blue Horse Studios is still here. He said, try to screw in the middle fan first. Try to screw in the middle. That's what I was, I thought this, the middle one is like. I, I think he's talking with the, with the end one. Or do actually torque the middle fan down first. That way the others don't overlap a little bit. Oh, I but see those what you're are, saying. Yeah. Yeah, and but they're you all connected. yourself uh, another sub there from Admiral Venus. He's like, if this guy is strong enough to continue to try, I will give him support. I 
I hate my life, guys, because the only other option is, is just to take these out, and then I'd be right back to where I am. And you got five get you got five gifted subs from Stream Tech. Hey, Stream Tech, thank you very much, my man. I want to use these blue things, but it's just not long enough. And not using silver screws is gonna make it's like it's like the whole point. And every other screw is perfect. It's all, it's just two screws. It happens to be the two screws in the front. What the heck? So I think at this point, as opposed to taking them all out, you just put the other two screws in, put in the two without washers and order two that are just two threads longer. Yeah. And then just give a, give a photo op on a, a later, a later update. Let's see if this one I can get in. And Igor dropped in two gifted subs. Now, of course, that one went in right away. It's like, it's, I don't know why do you got to do that. <laughs> that one went in, it's like all of them are in, except for those two. It's like annoying. I'm going to try one more time. It's like... I'm compressing so much, this should grip, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do this. Whoa, what did I do with that? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna use black screws. Black screws and change them out later. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think that's just the best bet. Versus like trying not to do it. Yeah, YouTube chat telling you to just put in the black ones and use a silver Sharpie. Yeah, <laughs> just color it later. <laughs> just sucks they happen to be the ones in the front. I mean, worse things could happen. Yeah. Okay. Well, we did it that way. That's Done. The classic SpongeBob five hours later meme. Yeah, it just would have been better. If, like, it's so funny. It's like everything was going so well. It's like something had to go wrong. I had to get the insane idea in the first place. That's the way it always works. All right, we got him in. Sort of. Two, fan, two of these just decided, you know what, we're not gonna work the way that we need it to. I mean, they're technically all in. They're just not all the same. Yep. All right, so we got all that now. Let's go ahead and start putting in our custom cables. But the, like the, you won't see them from the side, like you can't see them. All you can see is a little pop of blue, which is actually pretty neat, so. Yeah, and most, most people's PCs do, don't sit near as high as mine does, so. There we go. Okay, so let's get our cables. You guys ready? Because I'm excited about these. lucky enough to win this, please don't put it directly on the floor. You can get an Ikea stand or preferably on your desk. There is a PSU intake on the bottom. Okay, here we go. First cables. If I was, oh, I guess I, should go, I can go up that way instead.
something I should have done before I even um, put in the AIO, but I was dumb. And I guarantee you, we can all say, been there, done that. Come on. One's in. There it is. Keep both in. Okay. The one thing is you have to be really careful when you do this of making sure that you don't twist the cables as you run them back through. Oh, you know what? Forgot about this, about this case. Hold on. Oh, now you're just cheating. There we go. go that looks good I know I'm just cheating at this point in time you're right but after the fiasco of the black screws from 2023 <laughs> <laughs> oh guys we're at a hundred okay on to the next Riddick isn't that typically one in the same Okay, there we go. Next, those, there's those. Looking good. Okay, next ones, I'm very excited about these. So there's our, now it's time for PS, uh, PSU. Did we hit the YouTube goal? I'm assuming we did. Oh yeah, okay. That's what I was expecting her to say. Okay, here we go, guys. Beautiful AIO fans. I mean, uh, sorry, PSU fans. Oh, that, that I love. Aren't those cables? Don't they look so good? Cables look really good. Well, I guess see this. Yes, it could be considered Seahawks if. If I cared about football, but I don't. Or sports ball, or whatever you want to call it. Do the other people up there in the city that you live in know that you feel that way? Um, I don't know if they care.
Okay, there we go. I mean, ideally what you do is you probably like literally snip this off and you could do like the full right hand like you want the right angle like you'd want to, but fortunately you can't do that. And whoever, whoever wins it can mod it to their own preference, I guess. Yeah. good all right cool there we go so there's all of our custom cables we care about right now let's just get our gpu in top down shard guard thank you very much for the prime sub Okay, here we go. Okay, one thing we're trying to do is make sure that these do not pop over the edge here, so we need to keep these super tight. No, US only for this one. Sorry. PCs, there's a lot of rules on shipping and all sorts of stuff. Sorry guys, it, even doing your own shipping and custom stuff ends up being a kind of pain. Yeah, DT Drag, they came out great, right? Ten gifted subs from Extra Moist One. Extra Moist One. Thank you very much, my man. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. I like the name too. I know, man. Some people have a some people have an issue with the with the word moist, but I like the name. Yeah, moist cake, moist, like just moist in general. Some people are anti the word moist. I don't know, where do you sit on the word moist, chat? Are you pro-moist or anti-moist? 100% pro because so many people are anti. <laughs> that sounds like a Zeistin answer right there. <laughs> Shark Sharkashe, thank you very much for the one. The guys, thank you very much. Guys, you are being a massive help towards me hitting Partner Plus. Uh, for those who don't know, just as a reminder, I we can now officially stream on Twitch and YouTube. It's been, I've had a modified affiliate agreement forever, and now I can officially go for Twitch Partner, which means I have access to Partner Plus. So we're now driving towards that right now. And thank you very much for all the tier one subs. Unfortunately, prime subs and 
certain gifted subs don't help, but dude, this does help. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for the five yeah. gifted subs, Riddick. It's another five gifted tier two subs. And that uh, all those things help. Those all help towards the stuff. So thank you very much. You guys really appreciate all of the support here for getting me getting me over that bar, over that hump. And uh, that means a higher revenue split. And a lot of the revenue that I use from Twitch is actually for giveaways and stuff like that. So it will immediately turn around into more giveaways that we do here on the show. Always has. Again, I can't do this without you. You, my community. Cool. Okay, that is it. Okay, so we have all this now. So now what we can do is we can, we, we have our, our SATA connection. So I even did custom cables for this. There we go. There we go right there. Okay, let's get our GPU in. Uh, let's do, we can do PSU, why not? I have a 16, I, I, I have the 16 pin cable for the PSU too, so. so. We actually have, we also have our 16 pin cable too. So we have all the cables. We made sure that we got them all. No cable left un, uncustomed. You got them all, but did you get any extras? I got one extra, one extra SATA. See, see, then you do have them all. All right, let's go ahead and throw in our PSU since we're back here and we'll, we have our custom cables. Um, actually, never mind. We're gonna do the GPU first because that'll make it easier to plug that in before, I guess this one, yeah, we'll plug it in before we put it, put it back here. Ugh. Okay, next up guys, GPU time. Oh man. I really wish we could make this straight. I guess I could go, I wonder if I could get it through there and have it be kind of up. Sorry, that's driving me nuts. I'm too anal for this stuff sometimes. Obviously you're just tinkering again, but you want to switch to a- uh... Yeah, side camera. Side camera. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I feel like we can get it in there and like, I'd rather have like that almost 90 degree look. Yeah, yeah. E even Maiden says, I dremeled that part out of my G500A. Yeah. I feel like that's gonna look more clean.
Yeah, I think that looks more clean. Oh, that looks a lot better. Yeah. Let's see how that looks. Play with it a little bit. It's gotta get this one cable. I think that looks way better. All right, guys. Give me one second. Wife needed something? Okay. Uh, I'm Pug. He's normally done sometime within about the next two hours from now. Depending on benchmarks, the whole nine yards, so... Packer, 10.30 Central, 11.30 Eastern. We're, I mean, again, we're, I'm tinkering, so I mean, like, we don't, the build's actually really close to finished. Yeah. Well, he was, they were asking how late you normally stream. Oh, yeah. So, oftentimes, this, the build itself is done 45 minutes to an hour before the stream ends, based on benchmarks and performance reviews and this and that. We want the build to look good. That's the most important thing to me. Okay. nice and clean much better okay let's get our gpu in almost died <laughs> that's I how i lost that noise that, was that's how i lost them last time the uh the remember when i couldn't find the, the flush cutters yeah the friends like that's how i lose them what understand what happened to them they dropped them on the floor you doofus uh i don't want to have to go back watch yeah looking for looking for where again. did he put them where did he put them <laughs> There we go, guys. <sighs> As you almost knocked the wow stick off, too. No, oh, man. I'm a regular train wreck, guys. Top down? Yeah. I'm just working on the good call, though. Uh, not yet, PD Kid. He's still building and doing cable management, so those aren't done. What did he ask? Zip ties. Oh, yeah. We're not done with zip ties yet. 
Build's looking good, gentlemen and ladies. Okay, let's get our GPU in. Now, you might be asking, Roby, why did you do a black GPU? Honestly, it's so I could, with the Intel logo in the center, you wanted it to basically have something pop, so that's why we did that. Wait, did we really hit a level five hype train? We made it to level five. We did not complete level five. I didn't even know it was going, guys. I'm sorry. I'm lame. I, I should have been telling people. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, so I could still see the Intel logo. So you'll see when we put it in here. There's an Intel logo across the center, so I wanted to make sure you could still see the Intel logo. Yeah, Blondie tried, she, she pinged me, but I was in another window at the time, so I didn't see it either. Oh, sorry. We do need three of these, not just two, okay. I need a remote control taser, wow. I mean, Blondie, that would be very brutal for me. I would not like that at all. I would get very hurt. Blondie would be tasering me all the time. I can only imagine. Okay, we are gonna use the black screws on the top two for this, just because. Keep this tight. Okay, so those are in. There we go. There we go. Now it's time to throw in our cable here.
Those fixed position cable comes are just cheating. <laughs> it makes it way easier, that's for sure. <laughs> no. Whether I just order extensions or I order brand new cables, either way, I'm getting permanent comb. <laughs> yeah, they look really nice. And they make cable comb installation way easier. Okay, guys, so that's how the build will look from the front. Again, we'll have the Intel logo across it and all that sort of stuff, but lots of little blue pops and colors and stuff like that. So lots of little fun accoutrements all around. So let's, uh, let's get our PSU installed. Last little bit of this whole deal. Okay, right, now. No, I did that on purpose because this is the way it's. All right, I'll fix it. Yeah, I switched it because I don't know. That's what I decided. It's cool. I'll fix it. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get the PSU in. I think the colors came out really good. I think the whole build is just really gonna pop when we're all said and done here. I actually really like the way that green stands out. There you go. Well, I mean, again, these guys will get all of these extra cables because they'll have all of the extra cables from the PSU. You get them all. <laughs> I don't use any of them. Is that one of those where you're saying, please take these, please? Oh, no, they're going. They're, it's not a please. It's, it's, <laughs> they're, they're in there. If you want the build, you get the cable. Yeah, you get all the cables. I mean, you probably have enough cables to make a throne as well. Yep. All right, here we go. Let's get this. Let me put up the screen a little bit. The... Roby and the Molex throne, the new tale of oh the my Harry God. Potter series. <laughs> I do not want to be on the Molex throne. Nothing to do with Molex. And you can only sit on the throne after you plug them all in. That is true. If I really wanted to. Hey, it can't be any worse than the last thing that you had to plug in with Molex. Oh my gosh. I had to have like, like, remember Kelt was like giving me instructions on how to do it because he was like, I was not, I was not enjoying my Molex installation experience. Getting these installed guys. There we go. There we go. Okay. There's all of our stuff ready. Now we just get to do the fun job of installing it. CPU, here's our dual CPU EPS connectors. So these are the connectors that are up in the corner. That's what I just plugged in here. Next up, we're gonna take our PSU, which I might not be able to plug in outside the case. So we'll do, next we're gonna take our 24 pin. Actually, this is our, sorry, 12 pin. That's gonna go in the corner over here. Oh, I don't know how to write. Okay, then we're gonna take our SATA connection. 
It's the only three pin one we got. There we go. And our last cables, which happen to be two, kind of too long here. So we're gonna have to plug these in when it's inside the case. And for anyone who installs their cables this way, and sometimes you don't have a choice, make sure you try and line it up beforehand because those pins are real easy to miss. Yeah. first one and you actually have luckily with this little window I guess I, my hands aren't small enough for the window actually never mind if you had carny hands this would work carny hands okay all right so all of our cables are now plugged in and we're just gonna slide that in Yeah, Tom. <laughs> what did he say? Small hands. Smell like Smells cabbage. Smells like cabbage, yeah. Little, uh... Okay, now... need one more, a couple more PSU cables here. Gonna make the back look a little bit cleaner here. Funny Imps has given you props over in YouTube chat there. They followed one of your build guides and it came out great. Yay, which one? He's like all of them. I've built all your PCs. They're my that favorite. That sounds expensive. Yeah, it is. it is, it is expensive. It's like 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so there it is. Even from the back. Funny Imp says it was an all white build you did in the H510 flow. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad it came out okay. That was my that was my goal. Makes me feel better. There's our build, looking nice and good. Clean. Now let's find, okay. Last cable extensions to cut. I hope you're not cutting the cable extension. Oh, sorry, cable, sorry, zip ties. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. There it is, guys. The build is done. So again, just so you know, EPS were the two that I plugged in. Then we plugged in the SATA, the 24 pin. I had to plug in when I was out there. It only, it's easy to know where they go because they only fit one way into a PSU. So if you're if you're following along as a guide or whatever it was, unfortunately, it just was one of those things I couldn't show very well on camera, but. They're pretty straightforward, actually. And At then, least it was that cable. Yeah. Yeah, That there of all the cables not to show you, that was probably the easiest one not to, the best one to not have to show you because it's the most straightforward of like, oh, that plugs in there because it's, 
it really only goes to one spot. So I apologize for not being able to show you exactly. There's so much room under there without having the other cables into extension. Oh, I know. It's just, it's just so, it's so, it feels empty. Yeah, it looks very empty. <laughs> It also helps that the cables are white, you know what I mean? So, okay guys, well now we can put it together. Quick, I need you to just stuff all the unused cables in there. Just, just because, <laughs> like please make me feel better. I had to take the back off of mine the other day. That, nothing will make me feel better. Okay, well let's, let's check out the back of this bad boy first, because it's always, this will show you a little bit why I chose the green, too. You can see the little bit of pops of green there that uh, Ron put in the design. There we go. so good. All of his stuff does. There it is. So you get the, you'll get the green pops and all that sort of stuff. Okay, let's throw our... There we go. And remember, this does actually have airflow or people freak out. Because when you, if you wanted to and you were going for a harder workload, you could just pull this out and then you don't have to, you can just put it in. But when you're gaming, we'll show you the, the yeah, you can pop the front off. Okay, so first here's time, our- First time builders following this guide, FYI, save yourself the trouble, make sure it turns on before you put the panels on. Yeah. You know, yeah. you never know whenever a connection is just not quite tight and it causes a little bit of mayhem. Video game controllers, controller poses triumphantly between the words critical hit. Oh, you're liking it. Yeah, but see, there you go. Like with the green and everything, it just pops so well. And yeah, that green looks really good. It just creates a little bit of more in there, but there it is, guys. And a little bit of green as well. Okay, let's do our, let's go through our little sponsor bit real quick, and then we'll uh, throw us, we'll start seeing, we'll turn it on and all that kind of jazz. Okay, let's see how many cables we use though, cable management, there are zip ties. Ugh. All right guys, I did, I did put in a bit on this one, so. Oh, okay. Now it's legit, guys. We got Zeistin doing a vote. You looks got like a one super chat, super chat over on YouTube. Thank you very much for the four ninety nine super chat. It was like a, it was like an icon, so I could really just said, like critical hit, like really liked how it looked. I think. Yep. Just a little bit of polish detail. And then of course we have our thing, which will block. I think it blocks, hold on, let me see what it blocks here. I might put this on at the end, but I just wanna see. Oh yeah, you can still see the whole thing. Okay, that's good. There we go, that looks good. There it is guys, Intel all ready to go. See what I meant by the using the black GPU? So if you had white, you'd, it'd, it'd meld in. So I think it just came out a little bit cleaner. That's why we did we did the, the black. Okay, let's go to top down, see how many zip ties we used. Odd or even. One, two, three, four, Five, five. One, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven. It's odd. 
That's actually a really low zip tone count. I feel like I used more, but I guess not. 11 zip ties, guys. And it is odd today. 20, wow, you guys, yeah, you guys thought the same thing, right? But it's odd. I'm a winner. Oh, Zeissen put odd. I feel like you should always vote odd, Zeissen. Well, that would be just a little too on the nose, wouldn't it? <laughs> we gotta stay, we, we odd people gotta stay together, stick together. Okay, let me drop a drink of water. Let's cover our, let's cover our stuff real quick. And get it turned on, see how it does. We still got a 14 600K that we're giving away today. Still celebrating 14th gen. Grab our thing there. Build came out great. Very excited about it. Ugh. And don't forget, you can enter to win this. We are giving this away. Entries are down below. You want to get in on that? Uh, just click on the Gleam.io link. Wow, that build did does look really good. Just saying, it came out really good. Ugh. And thank you. And remember, extra entries from for subs. If you are a Robitech sub, uh, you do get extra entries towards the PC giveaway as well. So. Okay, here we go. The Gleam link, we'll have it, we'll drop it in chat and then we also have it in, I think we have it in the, we'll do the, the, the chat and then we also have the, uh, it's down in the description. Uh, it will be back down in the description at the end. Um, let me see. Do we have the, the Gleam link, Blondie? There's a link right there, there you go. Um, what am I looking for? Uh, I'm looking for, what am I looking for? Robitech.com, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so you get finished with a build like this, and you're like, okay, whoa. And you need to have windows, maybe. I mean, maybe you're not into it, but you know, for the most part, you wanna have windows, so you can do things like customization and stuff like that. You know, if you were to pick it up, you know, locally, it'd be about 150, 200 bucks if you were gonna pick up a copy of Windows. But here, if you went to VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for $23, or you can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Hone for $19.09. So let's say, for instance, we wanna pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for $23.09. We go here, uh, you could hit buy now. And then instead of paying even the $23.09, you could hit RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $23.09 actually chops down to $16.16. .16. So really, really good price, makes it very inexpensive. And again, you get rid of that nice little corner thing that says, hey, you need to activate Windows. What about a copy of Office? You wanna pick up a copy of Office? Well, here, let's take a look at that. Here's Office 2021, uh, regularly 200, about 200, 250 bucks. You can pick it up here for just a little over $81, but the same deal, hit uh, buy now, use the same code at checkout, RBCK, hit apply. What was $81.41 drops down to uh, $56.99. So again, VIP slash CDKDeals.com. Literally have had thousands and thousands of people pick up copies of Windows there. Great place to pick it up for very inexpensive. They have great customer, uh, great customer service. And if you have questions, uh, then you can just talk to the thousands of people here in chat who've used uh, it to uh, pick up copies uh, themselves. So yeah, RBCK and uh, there you go. You're good to go. Now the other thing, used to, it. yeah, and Zeistin's used it. I think a ton of people have actually used it. So uh, it's far more, far less expensive than picking it up anywhere else. Um, okay, last thing I want to tell you about is, uh, you know, if, you, if you're ever looking for information about giveaways, stuff like that, because we have a couple giveaway builds that are coming live today, right, and this week, uh, check out robytech.com. It's a website that we have. Uh, it has our deals, all of our builds, all that sort of stuff. So if you have a particular build that you like, say for instance, you want to pick up and you want to follow along with this build, you can go right here. Here's all the parts right here from Newegg. So every part right here from Newegg, because Newegg is obviously a sponsor. You can click on any one of those links as well as 
um, a direct link to the build so you can follow along and build it yourself if you absolutely wanted to. So uh, just head to robytech.com slash builds. The other thing too is that if you ever wanna know about giveaways, because we're running giveaways all the time, check out the Robitech Insider. So for instance, here's this week's Robitech Insider. It's got all of the information. You can see all of the builds and streams and coverage that we've done. For instance, we're giving away this Assassin's Creed Mirage build. So if you go down here, you'd actually be able to, I don't know if it's in this, this link now, but you could go and click here. Uh, oh, it's not in here. So anyway, normally we would have a link to the giveaway and you'd be able to check up and uh, see that and click on the link. So we'll make sure we're in the future ones um, as well. So check it out, robytech.com slash insider. Last thing we have is we're just gonna talk about deals. So let's see what deals um, we have if you were wanting to get into PC build or build a PC today. So here we go. Uh, Sparkle Intel Arc A770, uh, Titan Overclock Edition. So we've done some, video, some videos on this. We actually did one in partnership with Newegg. Uh, it's on sale right now, $289.99. Literally the most, the, sorry, the least expensive AV1 encoding card and the A770 is a fantastic card uh, for budget PCs, right? And the blue looks really, really good. We've done a number of builds with this. I really like this Sparkle uh, specific uh, A770. Thermal Take Tough Power GF3 1000 watt. This is actually a PCI 5 uh, with it, which actually has the same connection, which makes it really easy for doing builds. On sale 154.99. We've used it on a number of builds. Really, really like this power supply. Uh, you just use that promo code, which will automatically fill in with new egg. Uh, Gigabyte 20 inch, 28 inch 4K, one millisecond response. Uh, uh, Monitor on sale right now, $449.99 over at Newegg. Uh, Razer Edge Gaming Tablet, we've used this a number of times. This is their Kishi, uh, especially if you're gonna do any cloud gaming, uh, specifically if you've got, uh, for instance, you're gonna be using Wi-Fi 7 for cloud gaming or anything like that. As phones and stuff come out, this just makes it a really, really great device. Uh, it's amazing the stuff you can play over cloud right now. Um, and uh, the Kishi just makes a big difference in terms of playing. Anyway, $399.99 over at Newegg. Oh, and this comes with the tablet and the Kishi. So you actually get both for $399.99, which is actually pretty cool. This is new. Oh, so this is both. So this is brand new. So yeah, this I haven't even checked this out. So we'll have to check this out. AOC 24 inch, 165 Hertz, uh, 1080p monitor on sale, 100 bucks. Wow, that's really, really good. Uh, and then the Fractal Design Meshify 2 Lite, uh, clear tempered glass. Uh, so like this, uh, it's a great case, 69 bucks available as well. Wow, this is, I might have to have Razer send me one of these. Um, and uh, so there we go. Uh, there it is right there and you can, uh, you can check that out. I might have to see if Razer will send me one of these. Guys, who wants me to check this out? See if this is, this is pretty cool, the Razer tablet. Come on, Razor, if you're watching right now, come uh, come and check it out. Yeah, yeah, do it, yeah. Yeah. Good price too. Yeah, good price for $3.99 as well, yeah. That's actually really awesome. Okay, well that's it for deals, guys. Uh, I think he was ready to see it turn on, right? So that's it, thank, everybody say thank you, Tom. Everybody say thank, thank you, you, Tom. Thank you, Bot Boy. Thank you, Bot Boy. We're, gonna, we're excited to see him at DreamHack as well. So, um, yeah. You got another sub there from uh, Trebled Mind. Trebled Mind, also devoted Phantom and Leet, Leet Henry. Thank you very much as well, guys. Will it post is the question as I get ready to turn this on. Let's get this out of the way and let's see how this, let's see how this bad boy does. She ran, and she ran that for 60 seconds, so you got 45 to go. Okay, well, I'll still get, I gotta, I gotta put it in the middle and all that kind of jazz anyway, so we got some time. I'll just, I'll just be slow. Ooh. There it is, guys. There's the build. I think it looks great. Ugh. Now I just need it to turn on. Ugh. Okay, here we go. This board has a lot of connections. Two USB 3.2, like a ton of USB. HDMI and DV, uh, sorry, DisplayPort for motherboard specifically. And you've got Wi-Fi 7 and uh, all the 5.1. I mean, this is a pricey board, but came out really, I, I really like this board. I like how clean it is. Pricey, but it's definitely pretty. Yeah, it is. It is a pretty board. Pretty board. I feel like I'm talking to a parrot. Pretty board. Okay. <laughs> Says, is this an Intel build? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Nope, uh, actually it's not. It's not an Intel build at all. It's not to celebrate Max Bunny. <laughs> okay, here we go. Time to turn it on, ladies and gentlemen. Show me some lights. There they go. Lights, let there be light. There's the Lee and Lee logo. It came out pretty. Will it post is the question though. We wait. Well, your debug cleared, so I'm gonna guess that uh, we're leaning that way. Yeah, it looks like I see I see uh, I see stuff on the screen over here. Let's there's make the it. white post light. There's the light, and there's the uh, where's the white low? There's the uh, there's it. It's booting into Windows right now. And there it is, guys. It is in Windows. It is posted, and now we just wait for a second. Uh, Divine Dragoon is asking, is the Intel etched or is it a decal? Oh, uh, no, it's etched. But we will have a decal if you wanted to do a decal there. But there, we're actually, I want to do a tutorial with, um, I do a tutorial with um, uh, the fine folks at Blue Horse to show people how to do actually do this. But there it is, guys. Look at it. It's all lit up now. We're going to switch the screen around. But there it is, all lit up and ready to go. What do you guys think with the green and blue? Looks hey. good. It looks really good, right? Yeah. Uh, the etching is very, very thin. It's actually, uh, hey. I don't know if he's still, is he still in the chat? Maybe he's not. Now you just got to rotate that. Uh, yeah, we're going to rotate logo. the, yeah. We're going to rotate the <laughs> logo. But there you go. Here, let's go to the side view right now so you guys can see it. There's a side view for you. I'll get it. If you're just sitting there staring at it, that's what it looked like. We're going to rotate that screen real quick, but everything else. And then again, you can always just take off these and create airflow if you wanted to. And then they're all lit up as well. So it looks really, really good. Okay, let's get into the uh, the bot, into the testing here real quick. Ugh. If you can etch a glass, you can etch a sketch. <laughs> Okay, let's grab our. Uh, Chris, I would do a 14900K uh, because of the AI optimizer and some other things that you don't get with the, the 13900KS. I know you're paying a little bit more, and the only two is it's a little bit more efficient as well. Uh, what does that mean, Gazer? I mean, this this has performance for sure. It also just looks really good. I'm glad you like it, Funny. And again, you can see the Intel nicely, right? That was the other thing that was super important to us. Okay, just getting the screens duplicated. Let's run it at 20. We're going to run, set it up to 1440p, which is what we really made this for. Okay, right. now let's just fix our. Oh, is this doing that? There you go. Okay. Um, ba ba ba.
I feel like that's the rotate, but am I dumb? It rotated. Oh, oh, it might no, just rotate. No, no. Yeah, it was it was really slow, and then it did them all at once. Oh. So, right now you need to go two more times. There we go. Now it is. There it is. Okay. And there it is. It's all rotated now. Everything looks good. And then we're just going to do the, right now we're going to do the meteor shower with the blue and green to make it match. And there it is. The screen looks great. Okay. Now it's just time to see how the thing does. Let's grab hardware info monitor real quick. Every time you build one of these with a AIO with a screen, it makes me want to buy the upgrade kit for my H150i. Yeah. There we go. Let's grab this real quick. Okay, there we go. Throw this up. I think we just have Cinebench R23 on here. There we go. I didn't download R20 or 2024 for this one just because. All right, here we go. Here's our, as you can see. Oh yeah, you guys can't see anything. Okay, let's go here. Jumping into the, the actual part that you care about now. So here we go. You can see that our 14700K is already getting 34741. Just to let you know an idea, uh, a, four, a 13900K would get anywhere between 38 and 40,000, a little north of 40,000. So already some really, really good numbers here. But let's see how the temps are. There we go, sitting in the 80s. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight is really not bad, considering you do have the uh, front cover on. Yeah, and this is with the front cover on right now, guys. I'm showing you what it's like with you. I'm giving this thing not good airflow right now. <laughs> so this is not good airflow. This is not good airflow. This is with the covers on. So okay, let's do uh, let's do ten minutes, and then we'll show you. So if you wanted to get better airflow, we'd open up the covers. But right now, we're just showing you with the covers on. So if you wanted to say, can I run it with the covers? You absolutely can run it with the covers and it's going to be fine. I mean, it's pulling 300 watts, but temperature wise. I had a 94 degree spike and that's still acceptable. It, yep. It's high, it's high, but it's acceptable. Well, again, we have all of the airflow covered. Yep. So we are running this in the worst possible case right now um, and saying without airflow. Now, if I want to, There we go. And actually, the the crazy thing is, it didn't actually change the temperatures all that much. Oh, well, it may it may take a couple passes at that point too. You'd, you'd hit such a high point, it's not really even though there's a break in the test, it's so short. Yeah. Because your drops out of test now are dropping down into the low 60s, where as beforehand it was mid 60s. Yeah, it actually is. The temperatures are going down. Uh, yes, we read YouTube chat too. I'm just paying attention to, to temps right now. And I, I bounce back and forth to them both. I have them sitting side by side on my monitors. Yep. 
So again, 14, the, I mean, they're not, they're warm chips, but again, we're also running 300 watts. We could, and uh, this is above, to be clear, this is above, um, th this is above normal, right? Like again, you could, the, the actual, um, the actual, uh, uh, stock is 250, so we're we're pulling higher wattage right now. So there are some things we could change and just go to air cooler and then under volt and, and overclock. But I'm just running you, we wanted to show you what stock, if you just put this together, what it would run. And again, that the AIO is doing a perfectly fine job. It, and for gaming, you're not gonna hit anything like this. You're not gonna have any problem whatsoever, so. Uh, the decimator, yes, the top panel is on. No, the top panel's off, I took it off. They're both oh, on. did you? Yeah, they're both open now. And the temps are slowly, I mean, they're staying around the same in the, in the low 90s. And the, gold, the golden rule with this gin with, with both teams basically is if you're not throttling. Yeah, you're fine. This is, the only thing that you would start doing is you wouldn't see actual drops in clock speeds. What you'd see is actually drops in boost, 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 how often it boosts and how long it boosts. So it's actually more boost throttling than it is actually thermal throttling. But this is this temperature wise, we're no we're in no issue whatsoever. I just wanted to show you you can run it with the if you wanted to run and do stuff with the panels on, you absolutely can do that without eh, much of an issue as well. And then we'll show you with with gaming specifically what that ends up being here. So we're gonna go ahead and stop this because temps are fine. It's just gonna sit there and do that forever. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up MSI and then we'll show you what it is temps are like in gaming and then how some gaming does. And I wanna show you with the panels on, because again, if you wanted to like keep the panels and keep it looking pretty, uh, I want you to be able to see what, if you can do that. Cause a lot of people are like, you can't. And it's like, actually when gaming, you actually have very few problems. And there's a lot of air that this thing pulls from the side, so. Uh, Bender, the simple answer to that is stability. What was the question? If under as if undervolting is so helpful, why do parts start so high? Yeah, the thing is, is yeah, if you're pulling, if you're pulling that much wattage, then yeah, the odds of it again when you undervolt, it's it's the thing is, is that oh, let me go to oh, I, yeah, here's here's the short answer. It's called the silicon lottery. Not all silicon can handle s certain wattages or like uh, certain undervolts and stuff like that. So again. It really comes down to how much, just like they can't uh, handle certain overclocks. And so the thing is, is that's where the tuning comes into here and things like AI assist, et cetera, becomes a large part of helping you find that hidden uh, performance, et cetera. Undervolting is the same thing. You're just trying to find out how low you can get it so you can make it be most efficient while keeping it stable, so. Yeah, okay, but this in this case, yeah, now we have a whole new binning system because of the refinement. Okay, so let's go, let's just launch, let's take a look here. Start with Cyberpunk. Where is my Okay, he hasn't turned any of these off. Okay, so here we go. GPU temperature. We're just gonna turn in our stuff. Make sure that we're, okay, good. There we go. How much memory people like to see this still. I definitely always have it on in my overlay. Wow, what is, this is new. I don't know what that shows. I'm gonna pop that in there. Uh, show core clock, it's fine. It's how fast or what it's running at. I'm gonna keep hitting the wrong button. And then we care about power. There we go. about that okay here's temperatures when gaming
There we go. Check usage. Here's our clock. Do power. How much RAM we're using? Okay, and then we'll look. Look at this. It's got process now. I don't. Has that always been there? I feel like it hasn't. That's not gonna work. Okay, so, cause you have to turn on. Okay, so we're good there. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, not that big. There we go. Okay, good. So we got everything, we're good. Let's check out library. And let's check out Cyberpunk 2077 so you can just see what temps are like when you're gaming. Oh, I forgot my controller. Oh. Oh, now you got a game like a actual PC user. Well, I actually got the brand new um, PC game controller from, I was going to check out, but we'll have to, we haven't done an unboxing of that for that yet. <laughs> from, you uh, knew the jab was coming. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Not that I don't have my Xbox controller sitting around here somewhere. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna mute the, mute, mute the music so you guys can just hear the game. But see, look at that. See, look at the temps of the game right now. I mean, it's like like the 14.7 is sitting at like in the 50s. You know what I mean? It's, and this is where it's gonna, it might get into the, the high 50s, maybe the low 60s, but again, with the covers on, you're not gonna have any issue gaming like this. And Fantex did a really good job just giving lots of air for even on the sides. Okay, so let's go to settings, graphics. We're going to go to ray tracing overdrive. You know, that's one thing you can say about pretty much every Fantex case is even the ones that look like they're going to be a hot box, 100% have airflow. Okay, we have, ray, we have frame generation on, so we're turning all the bells and whistles on first, just making sure it's good. Go to video, full screen. We're going to go to <laughs> 1440, not 4K. And then V-Sync is off. Okay, so this is rate, this is max level everything. Araxinus, I'm the same way. Yeah, <laughs> I like TD Kid. <laughs> game like an actual PC gamer, rage quit. Oh, there's a reason Alt F4 exists, right? Yep. This is a 4070 Ti. Fourteen seven. Look at that. Sixty low. Just like I said, high fifties, low sixties. And even your GPU. I mean, your GPU is. I mean, again, we're restricting airflow, just given we're using the covers. But I mean, you could game like this, no problem. And this is about as intense you're gonna be on your GPU. Uh, it's being asked in both chats. Do you have DLSS turned on? Yes, DLSS is on. Yes, we have DLSS on and ray, and ray, uh, ray reconstruction and frame generation. I'm gonna go and turn, I'm gonna go now down to frame generation off. So this is DLSS on with uh, at auto right now, just to be safe. We'll make sure it's set to balance. So this is not, this is not frame generation. This is ultra. Uh, this is with path tracing. Now, now the thing is, is I would not recommend running path tracing without frame generation, but we'll show it anyway. Should be in the forties or fifties. 
This is path tracing, not not just regular ray tracing. Will a 14700K go well with a 4090? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, that would be, Brett Brown, that's, that would be a, totally fine if you're gonna do 4K or 1440p. Actually, I was, this is better than I thought it was. It's in the 60s. Wow, okay. Did not expect this. Sluggeroo, that's all rumor and speculation, man. We have no heart. Until somebody comes out, I won't. I'm not going to say there's any information like that. This is doing way better than I thought it was going to without frame, gener frame generation. For path tracing, anyway. A TD kid. Yeah, this is 1440p. On, yeah, you're watching it through YouTube on a, yeah. So Bunny Bun Bun, uh, there's a link that uh, we'll get you right now is a amazing, amazing thousand dollar build, which uh, can somebody get Bunny Bun Bun that link, the the Pop Air 7600X, oh, RX 7600, am I not right, Zeiston? Great thousand oh, dollar build. It's a beautiful build and it it's performed a, really, well. really, really good. Yeah. Let me this see is, if I can find it. This is all with case panels on, Captain. I can take them off, and but uh, just to see if the temperatures are a whole lot better. But I'm showing you that you can game with the panels on if you want to. Uh, hidden, I'm going to DM you the uh, link for that video. So just showing you, because I want to show, I mean, it, we made it pretty, but we wanted to show you you can play with it without a problem. I, I am sure you can. I mean, it's it's up to you. But I mean, I just wanted to show you that you could. Okay, uh, let's show you just regular ray tracing now. So we're gonna go to ray tracing ultra, frame generation off, no ray reconstruction because you can only get that with path tracing. And we'll set this to balanced. So here's just regular, regular old ray tracing, and then we'll just throw some cod in there. Uh, it's Ed Izzy. It's honestly, it's it's what you can afford. I mean, honestly, the TI is the TI is better than the forty seventy. So you're getting more out of a TI. Um, the both have come down in price to be better, which is nice. Okay, so this is just regular retracing without any path tracing, uh, with DLSS on performance on um, balance. Goober Have cycle. We're giving this nobody. BC away. That's what you missed, and you can go enter to win. See you later, Sergeant Nobody. So again, this is running beautifully. I'd be happy with this. If I won this, would you kick this out of bed for eating crackers in bed, uh, Zeiston? Um, on or off my diet? Oh, uh, either. There you go. I, I think that this build runs beautifully. I don't think there's any problem. I don't think, yeah, and temperature-wise, yeah. we're fine. Uh, it's actually a little warmer. I mean, again, we could do panels off, but 70s is fine. If you wanted to make it cooler, you could take off the panels. You don't have to. 70s is not going to get you in trouble. Good temps, good FPS for, for having stuff turned on. You know, it's completely acceptable. Okay, let's check out some COD. I will say with the panels on, it will run a little bit louder. That is something to be aware of. Yeah, fan, fans trying to ramp up a little higher. Yep, yep. This build just looks so good, guys. I'm just saying, this build just looks. Look at, I mean, look how good it looks. Quite clean. Even though, for some reason, it, there he goes. Look at that. 
I don't think anybody would mind. And again, guys, we will have the graphics and everything you can download if you want to do this build yourself. I mean, this is a great set of hardware as well. Like there's no, there's no shame in we, we specifically put these parts together because they make great, they make a great pair, right? We didn't go crazy. We made something that was also beautiful and performed well. Yeah. There, there is green. It actually is flashing green and blue. It's the green is flashing through it. It's just one of the problems with like showing it through a screen, you know? And steady the, the optimization war zone's really not that bad. You, you have to remember that it was technically a console port and it's going to be built for one team or the other for max optimization. Exactly. Yeah, it does have sound dampening in the back panel as well, yes. Okay, jumping back into the game. Yeah, you could do that, but again, remember... Oh, apparently... Okay, so let's go to settings, graphics. We go to full screen. Uh, I'm gonna assume that your fan curves are set to just a uh, factory do what they want. No, these are, I, well, I, they may not be, I don't know. I, yeah, I didn't, I think they're just set to factory, yeah. Okay, they, they were, Ed, Ed over in YouTube was asking if they were 100%. Oh, uh, they, they were, you did hear them at 100%, they're still pretty dang quiet. Based on the fan curves from El Connect 3, your fan should go 100% at about 90C for the CPU. At least by default. Okay, so we're going to do unscaling. We're just going to do DLAA for this. And then we're going to go to basic. Apply, there we go. Okay, so this is just regular, old, pretty. Oh, no, no, don't quit the desktop. Uh, Rumor two is asking is asking in chat what's the uh, what's the current RAM speed? Uh, it's sixty six hundred. We uh, we couldn't get seven thousand was a little unstable in gaming, so we've set it to sixty six hundred. We've already done a bunch of testing with this build already, so we knew what the what the uh, where it sits. And Viper is uh, working on a timing thing so we can actually do time. We, we're playing with some timing stuff to see if we can actually keep it at 7,000, but 6,600 runs fine. Okay, so this is basic 1440p Call of Duty. It's gonna be in the 200s, it looks like. You know, they recorded me for all this gameplay. This was all me. I don't know if I ever told you that, I, did, I didn't know your name was Blondie, but Geeky. <laughs> you just saw his name badge pop up when she was carrying him on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, it would be, this would be uh, Eternal Cole. Uh, Bunny Bun Bun. This uh, this build that he's showcasing today is uh, about three thousand dollars. Yeah, this one's a three thousand dollar build. Uh, you could save. You could get this way down, like twenty five hundred bucks. You could drop to a two terabyte, not do custom cables, go to cable extensions, um, and uh, you could go with. Um, there was one other thing that I have in here. Oh, six thousand mega transfer RAM. All of those things, dropping those down, you could easily get closer to twenty two, twenty three hundred bucks. So. There you go, 189 FPS. If you wanted to go a little bit crazier, let's go to here, graphics, we can get a little bit more. So we'll go a little bit higher. Yeah, so if you wanted to do 22, 2300 bucks, you could absolutely make this build for tw that much money. Uh, if you wanted to, and then the other option, you could go to a less expensive AIO. 
but this is a giveaway PC. Um, so if some, and again, you could, the, a lot of the things that you followed me, had me follow along with, you could do the, um, you could do the um, infinity version of the Galahad, which doesn't have the screen. And this would actually be closer to $2,000. The, cat, the actual fans themselves aren't that bad. So, but here, this is DLSS again. Oh, I don't have the frame timer up, but the frame timer is actually not that bad with NVIDIA Reflex. And now look at where we're at. We're almost in the, we're almost in the 300s in terms of your frame right now. But really where the, a lot of the money is in this build is it actually in the custom, the custom cables and the four terabyte NVMe and the really fast RAM. Because we want to have some, we want to we wanna take advantage of some of the things that 14th gen gets us and that's the 14th. The fact that we can go close to 7,000, even 8,000 mega transfer RAM. And I have 7,800 mega transfer RAM now. I think I actually have 8,000 too. So there we go, 277 frames per second. That seems fine, right? I mean, that's almost unplayable. I think we should just throw this away. Yeah, come on, you got a bottleneck. Get, get rid of it. I mean, just I think this is garbage. I think we just destroy it and uh, call it a day. What do you guys think? I bet I can get to your place faster than the trash truck. <laughs> I've got plenty of sick time. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that is it uh, for the couple things that we wanted to show for this particular one. We wanted to show you guys the the cyberpunk and uh, just some Call of Duty and just get you an idea. Now, yeah, these are, yeah, we'd like to have it for Dream, but yeah, need to upgrade my eyes, yeah. <laughs> um, we have a couple giveaways. It looks like we got, what do we have uh, for giveaways, Blondie? We got uh, two twenty-five dollars new, no, two twenty-five no, $125 new A gift card and a $100 new A gift card, right? Um, and uh, we also have a, um, we also have, a, um, a 13, a 14, six that we're giving away as well. Guys, this, this looks so good. Patrick Merrill over on YouTube wants to know if that they can come hang out in your garbage can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can come up there. I'll be throwing it away here in about two minutes. I'll let you guys know my address. No, I'm just kidding. We're not throwing this. God, this build looks so good. Sorry. It's like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, it's like, I'm seeing it for the first time. It's like, I, I see you and it looks, it just looks so clean. And it looks better in person because it's like, it almost feels like the, the screen is just kind of messing with the colors. The colors really pop. I just want to say, uh, between Ron and myself, we did a good job, guys. We, we made a very beautiful build. So. Okay, let's, uh, let's start the giveaways. First one up, let's, we, got a, we got two $25 new gift cards? No, one $25 new gift card, right? Yeah. One twenty-five dollar, one one hundred dollar. Okay, so we got first one exclamation point community, exclamation point. This is for the twenty-five dollar new gift card starting that right now. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Now let's talk. Brian, not Brian. Thank you for the sub. Uh, let's talk. Juniper, Juniper Sarah. Thank you for the sub. Thirty-six months. GDS fighter. Thank you for the sub. A uh, couple things I want to remind you guys of real quick. Uh, first and foremost, Lumion Fritz. A uh, couple things I want to remind you of for real quick. We are back. Uh, we have gaming tomorrow. We're going to be playing through Fort Solace. Uh, it's a spooky game. Uh, been really, really enjoying it. We're going to start over, play through it. Uh, we're going to try and finish it. It's going to be our spooky Halloween game uh, that we're going to be playing through. And then until Alan Wake comes out, I'm going to try and get through it. Uh, and so before we actually start Alan Wake, I do want to play through Alan Wake 2. And I figured that'd be a great game to play through on the stream. We will be streaming Alan Wake 2 on Tuesday. Um, unfortunately, you can't do it on Thursday. I'll tell you why here in just a minute. So we'll be picking that up on Tuesday, uh, and we will be giving away a copy of Alan Wake 2 as well. So you're definitely going to want to tune in for that. Uh, Thursday, we are doing another giveaway build for you guys. Uh, it's with Aura History Untold. Uh, it's a ROG Hyperion build. It's AMD, all AMD. It's a really, really fantastic one. That's going to be another one you're going to want to tune into, another Gleam giveaway. Plus, you get bonuses and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to be giving away some AMD, an AMD CPU, so you're going to want to tune in for that. That's Thursday. Friday, we have the Intel, not the morning show anymore. It's called, we're changing the name. We're going to be going to the afternoons. Uh, we're going to be checking out uh, a brand new game, uh, Ghost Protocol, I think is, I don't remember, let me, I'm going to switch. It's, uh, I don't remember the name. Oh, my mind. Astral, thank you for the sub. 
Uh, Anonymous Gifter, thank you for the sub as well. Uh, but we're playing, checking out a brand new game. We're going to be doing some undervolting. So we're going to be undervolting laptops. That's going to be happening on, on Friday as well. Uh, and then we're back on Sunday. Uh, we're going to be building in the Height Y70 Touch. Uh, so that's going to be happening Sunday. Sunday building in the Height Y70 Touch. Uh, we're going to be doing a Starfield-themed build in that. So we're going to be using the Starfield-themed Radeon GPU and the Starfield-themed CPU. So that's going to be happening on, on fri uh, Sunday. And then we're back on Tuesday. Um, where we're going to be playing some Alan Wake 2, uh, and we're going to be building in the Cooler Master Cube. So that's uh, that should be a fun one. Oh, no, sorry. Tuesday is the um, MSI Halloween build. So we're going to be doing an MSI Halloween build. So that's going to be happening on uh, for Halloween. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, and we're going to be dressing up, and uh, we'll have some cool giveaways and stuff like that as well. So that's going to be, you're going to tune in for that. And huge shout out to MSI for sponsoring that build. It's an all white MSI build. So that should be really, really cool. Uh, congratulations to, hey, his name is at Brad Zeiston. His name's at Brad. Way to go, Brad. Dude, who, how long have you had that name? If you've been a Twitch subscriber, his name's Brad. Dude, that's, uh, that's rare. Congratulations, Brad. Okay, next up, guys. Next up, guys, uh, we got the, uh, we got exclamation point new egg now. This is a hundred dollar new egg gift card. And Blondie, Blondie just said uh, he's YouTube. Oh, no, that's even, well, still. Congratulations, Brad, on YouTube. Okay, Ryzen, uh, this is for $100 Newegg gift card, exclamation point Newegg now, exclamation point Newegg now, starting that giveaway right now, guys. God, this build looks good. Zeissen, do you want this build? Do you want to just send it to you? Yeah, 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 I, I'll clear off the spot on my desk. <laughs> it looks so pretty. Uh, the, little blue, hey. the little blue things actually look really good, too. It's got like lots there of. You, you could just bring it to DreamHack, and I'll leave mine at home. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's that's what we'll do. Tom says he would like it, but we all know he doesn't need a computer. You are a computer, Tom. Tom is a computer. You guys, you're gonna definitely want to tune in for the the Thursday, the Thursday, another absolutely stunning build. Uh, also designed by Blue Horse Studios. You're going to want to tune in for that. It's also absolutely beautiful as well. So that's going to be happening on Tuesday, uh, Thursday. Make sure you tune in. 50 seconds left. And then after this, we're going to give away 14,600K. If I won this, I would change my name to 70 mil, 70 what? <laughs> yeah, guys, make sure you're a member of the Discord. Now, remember, for the next giveaway, if you are a YouTube, sorry, a Twitch subscriber, you are going to get extra entries. If you're really looking to hope to win one of those CPUs, you are going to get extra entries by being a Twitch subscriber. And all you got to do is drop your Amazon Prime sub. You're also entered to win this PC that's sitting behind me right here. It's a 4070 Ti system. That is going to one lucky Twitch subscriber as well. A uh, YouTuber Twitch, uh, sorry, Twitch subscriber as well. So yeah, if you want to get in on that, make sure that you drop that, say, drop your sub. Um, you can't be, you can't use your Amazon, your Prime sub for that one. You got to use a tier one sub, but yeah, that's up for grabs too. You can no longer enter the wa the uh, raffle, guys, the waffle. No more waffle. Congratulations to Bison D. Bison D on YouTube. I'm uh, sorry, Twitter, Twitch. Oh my gosh, man, I'm drunk. Uh, congratulations, Bison D. You are the winner of the $100 Newegg gift card. Last giveaway, guys, the biggie, the big one. You guys ready? Core 6, 14600K. Sorry, Core 5, 14600K. Bomb says, go home, Roby. You're drunk. Yeah, I know. I am. Let's, uh, let's have some fun. Uh, exclamation point Intel Gaming. Exclamation point Intel Gaming. Uh, two minutes. Uh, remember, uh, subscribers, you get extra entries towards winning this as well. Um, so that's happening as well. Exclamation point Intel Gaming. Exclamation point Intel Gaming. Go ahead and start that, guys. Two minutes. Two minutes.
Okay, guys, two minutes left. Two minutes, guys. Oh, sorry. 16 seconds. 16 seconds. I gotta say, that two minutes was getting longer. I know, two longer. minutes. You're like, it just still stays two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it's like forever. Congratulations. Good luck, you guys. <clears throat> okay. And the give drawing's Whoa! over, guys. Eternal Rage. Oh, never mind. No, was it? Who won it? Yes, Eternal Rage. Whoa, congratulations to, hey, Cole. Congratulations to Eternal Rage. Uh, that's amazing. So uh, Eternal Rage winning them, long time viewer, uh, you know, first time caller. <laughs> Sorry, I had to tell that joke. Uh, Becky, Becky YYP, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, anyway, guys, that is it for tonight's stream. Thank you again, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we are back tomorrow for some Fort Solis. Uh, Going to be playing through that, trying to get as far as we can tomorrow. Uh, that's just a gaming stream. And then again, back on Thursday for Aura History Untold. Uh, thanks to Xbox Studios, we're going to be playing that. Uh, showing you guys that brand new game, doing a custom build for that. We have some Xbox Game Pass codes. I know, it's been so long. We actually have six Xbox Game Pass codes. So you're going to want to tune in for that. Uh, plus, we're going to be giving that PC away as well. So it's going to be an epic, epic build. Super excited to have you guys join me. So anyway, that is it for tonight. Have a great night. Zeiston, say goodbye. Goodbye. Org, say goodbye. He doesn't even Good care. night. Good night. Anyway, guys, that's it for us, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys.